Oh, that's crazy. When you right, start that, don't, <laughs> don't you start. This ain't that. that? This, the, this the fake bucks. I ain't got no bucks. This is what that it, is. The dollar coffee. It's fake I bucks. No <laughs> What's fake bucks, man? I don't know what fake bucks, fake bucks is. What's that? Wawa. It's, oh, it's oh, Starbucks oh. money. Or yeah. money for coffee, essentially, yeah. Right, right. Wawa right. right. has good coffee. Wawa got some Peru. They didn't. They didn't went to Peru. First yeah. they went to Colombia, then they went to Kenya for a second. Now they're in Peru. It's like, wow. Yeah. Hey, my wife has the coffee beans. Can we get some coffee beans to sell? <laughs> well, that's what it is. That's why they keep moving because we're we're running out of coffee. So that's what it right. is. Right. Did you hear about the the what is it? The Colombian farmers get like one penny for every yep. cup yep. of coffee we sell. Did y'all yes, hear about that? Yes, wow. indeed. Man, Latin, America, Latin America's not doing well, guys. It's not. Venezuela's yeah. on the verge of collapse right now. It really is. So yeah. not good. Not good stuff. Well, that's we probably we got to get out the funk. Yep. Funk. All right. I don't think about did I tag? I don't think I tagged y'all. Hold on, let me tag y'all. I see the video though. I'm about to share it like a couple of places. Yeah, I'm gonna share it twice. Good afternoon. Good evening, everybody, wherever you are. This is Ty, Chris, and Gerard. We don't even know what the hell we're gonna talk about. This is late. Uh, some of us is drinking, and we figured we want to just come on here and have a conversation with the people. How y'all doing? Whoop. How's everybody doing? What? Well, fashion. Fashion. Golly. Sharon is Karen. As per the usual. Yeah, I'm gonna take a minute. I have a page or two. To share I love it. Watching it from my other. Oh, I love it. I just love this. It's so fun. It's so exciting. It from your other laptop. You got your other laptop going. Oh yeah, just to check, just to make sure it works. It's, it's good, sure. right? <laughs> and then invite people in. That's how you do it. That's just multiple. I'm still no, working on multiple right. platforms anyway. I'm still I, working on I multiple platforms. I that though. I never like. I never get to finesse the invites and the tags. Like I just go and it's like I got to tag and invite people more because. Otherwise, they won't know. Facebook is so exactly. good at suppressing everything. People won't even know you were on unless you invite and tag folks. You know what I mean? And then they can invite and tag folks as well. So that's definitely an added boost that we all need. Yeah. What's all the shadow banning? They, they, they're they banning everything. They're deleting mm -hmm. posts and they play these little games. You don't know when people go live. And that's OK. Right. That's OK. Hence multiple platforms. That's, yeah. that's, why, yeah. that's why you have to do that. Now, so. Where are y'all at? What platform are y'all on? Um, I'm working on Gab and a whole bunch of other ones, Mines and BitChute, uh, me, me now, and all these other. There's a whole bunch. Of, there's a whole bunch. There, there should be more than ten, probably. Like there's, there should be a lot. Like Discord, I hear is really popular now, and there's a lot of that. So, <laughs> Ellen, Aline asked, "Are y'all drinking?" Bitch. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Hmm. Bitch, we're black, man. Of course, mm. we're drinking. What's wrong with you? This, this, I call this uh, this is communion. This is a little bit of <laughs> this is my communion right here. It's a little communion. <laughs> All right, so are, are we gonna do a chia, a, a toast to the end of the world? Is the world ending? Are we gonna make it? <laughs> the end, right. Toast to the outrage. Toast to the outrage. <laughs> we might make it, baby. We might make it. It's either we're gonna make it together or we're yeah. gonna fall together. One or yeah. the other. So yeah. why not let's make it together, y'all? Let's make it, baby. Especially because there are no endings, there are only new beginnings. Yes. Oh my god. Talk about it. Talk about it. Go on, drop it. Drop it. Just saying. Just saying. Nothing no, ever I'm ends. Just, I'm good with anything. I really don't care. Y'all, it could yeah. end, it could blow up. Y'all want yeah. tsunamis, you want volcanoes, <laughs> zombie apocalypse, let it blow up, Democrats, Republicans, zombies. To murder everybody. Zombies. I'm good with everything. Listen, this is the way I get down. If all the people want to do it, this if this is the way y'all want to go, y'all want to end the human race, let's do it. Let's let's laugh though. Let's have fun and do it. I'm good right. with whatever y'all want to do. I'm voting for the meteor. That's what I'm voting for. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're going for the meteor bang, huh? Me meteor 2040, dog. Meteors, meteors, they're coming. <laughs> <laughs> I vote for the meteor. Uh... Well, that's what the Egyptians say. They say we got wiped out like 12 times by meteors. Right, Probably. right. Right. Probably. It explains Atlantis and all these other places that we just have yeah. random oh, these random pyramids we keep finding in random locations and shit. We're like, mm, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on here? So but our pyramids all over Egypt. That that's yeah. why I love like archaeology. Like we are so dumb. We don't know anything about what came before us. That's why I'm mad at the colonizers, man. The colonizers yeah. they didn't destroy everything. 
You know what's funny? I was just um, at this park and then some, you know, Philly is like one of the main places where it all started, but I was at this national park or historical park, shall I say, and I was looking at all the different rock alignments and what you can tell was built and what wasn't built, you know, what you can tell was actually constructed and what wasn't constructed. And it's amazing because we still have some of those natural alignments right in front of our faces, you know what I mean? But you have to actually go to these places. You can't be stuck inside the house or we're inside the malls and all this crazy stuff. You have to actually go to these places and see for yourself, you know? And it's still beautiful. You know, there's a lot of beauty still around us, but I don't know. Maybe it's different when we connect together or maybe this shit is just lame and corny. You know what I mean? Because that's how I was always taught. It was, oh, you want to go take a walk in the park? That shit is lame. That's corny. You're, you, you're, you're, I don't know, man. It's all these different things that I was taught. But now that I see that I do these, it's different when I do them now. I feel I was naturally like, I'm smoking a little ganja here and there. I was naturally high off of this shit. I'm telling you, I was out there. I was feeling Great. good. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. There's water, there's rocks, there's trees and plants. And it's like, yeah. I understand or I can kind of grasp how connected the natives and the indigenous people were to nature, you know, and to the natural things of life because they were around them all the time, every day, all day. You know, what What are we around every day, all day? Technology, um, business as usual, spending money. And this is what our energy is dedicated to. So, of course, we will forget about the beautiful things in life, you know? The concrete jungle. Yeah, the concrete jungle. We're not, we're not grounded anymore because we don't. We wear shoes and... We, we remove ourselves from nature. We try to, re- we try to distance ourselves from it. Mm. That's the problem. That's the problem there. Well, we're, we're, <clears throat> we're killing ourselves. We're killing the next generation. I'm glad you put it that way too, because it's all about resource allocation. We allocate most of our resources to being greedy little bastards, to having jobs, collecting as much money as we can, shoving it in a bank account, not giving a damn about other people. You know, as long as it's our political party, it's not really rape. It's not like pedophilia. It's not whatever, because it's our political party. We just we're lost bigots. That's why my new thing is it's the big, big, big apocalypse. I believe we are in the bigot apocalypse. Everybody's white. Everybody's black. Everybody's left. Everybody's right. Everybody's American. Everybody's a bigot. And everyone that you're born into these bodies, you're born into a certain area community. Then you embrace it. And you basically turn on everybody else for your own group. So that's why I, I see bigots fighting bigots. And that's why I think we're all going to die. We, we're not going to die. We're going to die some bigots. <laughs> we're going to die mad at you because you green. Damn it. I, it's not easy being green. It's not, it's not easy thing. being green. No, <laughs> right. right. I could have been blue or Trump or Obama or some other thing. That's what's funny. It's all appearance stuff. So we, we, would, we would form it regardless of what it was. There would always be it. There was all, it would always be there. It would always be there. Because it's just our natural in- tendency to do that, to be tribal in that way. It just is. Yeah. Half, half of all primate mammalian species, darling. <laughs> yeah. Real talk. That's the only way I think we make it. I, I think the only, th- only way we make it is if we get out of this monkey brain, reptilian brain, where we look at each other and we determine, if, am I better than you? Can I kill you and eat you? Can I kill you and take what you have? Can I raise my kids to get a higher degree than yours and make more money than your little bastards? I don't, I don't think we I don't think we make it if we can't get out of that. Yep, indeed. Yeah, true. That's true because it's we're chasing the same thing, and it's it's to me it feels like it's nothingness now that I've kind of seen it with a little bit more clarity because, like I just mentioned about the nature thing. I think we all thrive better together when we interact with more natural things, you know, because we're always learning and evolving in that atmosphere. And this atmosphere that we're currently stuck in, I don't see us evolving to the point that we can innovate together properly. You know, the innovation is being harvested into, I guess you would call it capitalism or governmental operation. And there's nothing coming back to the people. You know, we're getting the crumbs of the whole systematic way of dealing with things. And it's no wonder that we're fighting and arguing and bickering amongst each other because we really true down deep down inside people hate what's going on. You know, people, I think people really hate what's going on, but they can be comfortable enough to where they can distance themselves away from it. Exactly. They can just suppress it from their mind, you know? Exactly. 
Exactly. And, well, it's half and half. Half of us realize that the Matrix is collapsing, and the other half is trying to save the Matrix. And right. That's the problem. Right. That's, what right. It that's real. That's real. That's real. Yeah. It's collapsing around them, and they can't do anything to stop it. They can't do anything. So they're trying to they're trying to lash out at us for, for us acknowledging that the Matrix is collapsing. It is factually. They can't wait save it. Wait a minute. So, wait, wait, wait. We can stop it. All we gotta do is stop Kevin, all right. All we gotta do is We can stop it. Just all we gotta do is keep them up. We can keep them up. Y'all, hold on, y'all. That's, that's, I want to say something real quick. This oh, Kavanaugh man. shit has to be a joke, right? This has to be. Listen, <laughs> the same people that are pissed about this guy Kavanaugh are the same exact people that still champion Bill Clinton. Oh, the yeah. same <laughs> Bill Clinton yeah. that got some topsy turvy in the White House, not from his wife. You know what I mean? Uh, so they yep. talk about womanizers. They talk about that male shit that's like, I don't know, what, what the fuck do you call it? I don't fucking know the words they come up with, like misogynist and mystics attitudes and all this. But Bill Clinton is still championed from these same liberals yep, and some progressives. But it's like, wait a minute. Are you going to be mad at certain figures because of what's going on now? Or are you going to be mad at all the figures that are involved in government operations in get to the nitty gritty of what's really going on. You know, not just the mainstream yeah. surface of what they're feeding you to be mad at, but examine everything with clarity and the same judgment or justice you should seek, you know? Yeah, yeah they, no, no, they, they, they will not acknowledge it. That, that's what's the funny part. They have, they have selective outrage. And then they get mad at us for pointing out the fact that they're ignoring things that we won't ignore. They're like, you should ignore. They didn't have evidence. <laughs> oh, now we need evidence, right? We need evidence for Bill Clinton, but we don't need it for Kavanaugh, huh? We don't need wow. that. Huh? That's right. how. That's a oh, cute little funny thing you're doing. That's real cute. That's real fucking cute. I love that. I love that shit. <laughs> I just love it, darling. I just do. You don't need no evidence, Ty. All they got to do is be loud. That's it. That's, that's, it. Right. that's the evidence. That's it's it. more of us, so obviously you're nobody, wrong. He's, nobody, he's, he, nobody, he's on our political side, so it's fine. They just have to be right, they just have to right. aligned with you. If they're aligned <laughs> politically right. with you, then everything they do is fine because they're aligned politically with you. See? That's right. how it's all good. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and, and the thing is, I'm 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 laughing, and it's not that serious. I mean, it's a serious thing, but what I'm laughing at is how ridiculous it is. It is how ridiculous that someone who actually believes that sexual predators shouldn't be prolific, running around pro prolific in politics and in our country and around our world, mm -hmm. are actually before they get outraged, they check their political party first. What political party is it? Right. Is he on our side? Is it really rape? Mm -hmm. Are those really kids? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They are priests, right? They're my religion, so it's not really rape. It's not really abuse of children, you know. And it's and it's and so I don't want anyone to be confused. We do laugh a lot, and we're not laughing at the situation. We're laughing that adults, grown adults over the age of six, are actually playing these sick games yep. with people's lives. It's really ridiculous. Right. And serious is not the same thing as solemn, by the way. Those are different things. Solemn and serious are not the same. So you can laugh mm -hmm. about serious things. You can do that. There's a difference mm -hmm. between sol solemnity and seriousness. So that's what I mean. I want people to read. I just want people to read. They just don't. So <laughs> that's yeah, all it, do. they it, just it, don't it, read and it annoys me. So Elizabeth just said the, the frat boys are the real enemy. It's not the deep state. It's not the security. <laughs> This complex of the alphabet organizations, not the banks, it's not it's the not, yo, it's just the frat it's boys. boys. We gotta get them, y'all. We gotta get them. Y'all see a frat no, boy. Specifically white men, because there's nobody's responsible <laughs> oh, yeah. for their own right, behavior right. or consent. It's just white men. We just get to blame right. white men and then move on. Right. 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 We can go back and shop at Target and do everything else we're doing, but we'll just blame white men and walk off. Bye. Good luck. That's it. The white men did it. That's it. That's it. Just hate them and everything will get better. <laughs> this has been working great so far. Oh look, and Jay is in the house. I mean, yeah, y'all yeah. wow. got a whole bunch of Jay. That's a deep brother. I love Jeff, brother Jay. Brother, we don't yeah. we don't always agree, but I love I love this little community of people we got coming together. As you should. It's crazy. It's the crazy alternative that influence network, darling. The alternative influence network. That's what we're called by the elite. That's what we're called. So by the elite, right? That's you know what's funny that you say that influencers is a new thing that they're using too. Like everybody's yep. using influencers shit. Like oh, we're influencing this. I'm an influencer. Or that I'm an influencer. This and that. And it's just sick how these. Um, I want to say the struggles or the the the, the issues get co opted by so many different fraudulent organizations and so many different um, 
politically saturated organizations. You know, if this was, if people really cared, they wouldn't need to be attached to a political label right. or any label for that matter, because you see someone suffering, you have the ability to act, you act. You don't wait for a political party. You don't wait and say, oh, well, we have to wait till voting season comes around because my my party is going to be the one that fits that problem that was created by both parties. And that's just what it. No, you see yeah. someone in need act. That's the, that's how I think it is. You know, and yeah. it's not happening. You know, it's not happening. Yeah, well, brother, I, try to get to brother, brother to, I try to get people to pay attention to the language, though, because remember, that's that's part of it. That's why they call it influence. It's, it's part of right. George yeah. Orwell's warning. It's yeah. called the long du bois, the wooden tongue. It's supposed mm. to degrade language so that you that they use euphemisms to disguise bad things with, with pretty words. Mm. Influence. Right. Y'all want to take that's this question? Cool. I, I want to interact with the room, too. I want to make sure they yeah, feel right. that they're a part. So Brother Anthony's got a question. He wants to know, what do we do? So instead of always looking back, what do we do when, you know, like-minded folks, how do we start breaking the cycle? Ty, Ty, start off with that one, Ty. Well, okay, let's see. How do we, well, we're, we're, this is it. This is why we're doing it. This is breaking the cycle. That's why they're monitoring us in the first place. Because they don't want, they, they understand the power and influence of what we are doing here, and they wish to control it. And if they can't control it, then they will try to demonize us for doing so. And that's really what it is. They want you to be disconnected. So if you're disconnected, you're easy to control. That's really what it is. You have to make sure you're connecting with people. Stop turning on the populace because it's not going to help you. It's just not. If you guys turn on the populace, you can't get them to unite with you to do anything. They will not do it factually. So you have to unite with people first, which is what they're trying to prevent, because they know we can overpower them. They know we can. They know that factually. That's why they're so scared of it. If they were not scared of this interaction, they wouldn't be controlling it. They wouldn't be controlling it if they weren't scared of it. So they know the power of it. So it's imperative that you realize the power of it, too. That's that's the first step because you can't take any action because you're not you're not united so you can't organize so you can't take action you have to right. network first and then organize and then take action in that order. That's that's true. That's so big right there what you said, Todd. Because it starts from communication, I think you know, and it starts from changing the way that we communicate because I think the previous way we've communicated was in a sense of hostile manner, but it was more or less hidden because you're not gonna tell people who you are up front because you don't want people to know that you have all these skeletons within your closet. You know, the white people are not gonna say, yo, I'm racist or I think racist and this is just what it is, but I wanna understand what black people are really about or whatever the case is. And maybe vice versa, black people are like, yo, I hate white people just because that's how I've been raised and taught and trained and I don't give a fuck what anybody think. I'm just hating white people. I don't wanna talk to them. I don't need to talk to them, but we need to communicate with each other because the longer we stay away from communicating with each other, the longer we buy into the wrong narratives about each other. You know what I mean? And I'm starting to realize that even across the diverse group of, or the, the diverse scope of people, we have so much more in common than what, we've, what we're seeing and entertaining. You know, when we entertain the politics, we fail to see what we have in common because everything is overshadowed by the political hate and division. You know, we need to try to get back to the basics and to the core of who we are as beings and just work with that, you know, and open ourselves up or allow ourselves to be open minded to new information, because that's another thing that's blocking it. It's new information is not being rece received well because the old logic is embedded so deeply within. Right. Well, this is what I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with do anything they don't want you to do. I'm going to go with an art of war approach, right? Yep. Be, be where your enemy doesn't want you to be. Specific. If they want you, if they want you specifically, if yeah. they want you to be white, don't be white. Right. If they want you to be black, don't, don't be, be black. black. If mm -hmm. they want you to watch CNN and Fox and MSNBC, don't do that. If they're censoring somebody you know, you need to be sharing those posts. Like that, yep. I think... You just you do the exact opposite, because, I mean, for me, I don't think that I know anything. I don't know anything that's going on. All I know is I've been played my entire life. That's the only thing I know. And I don't want to be played anymore. So mm -hmm. anything that that I see that they want me to do, I do the opposite. Like Kavanaugh That's a good example. Kavanaugh. Everybody talking about Kavanaugh. And mind you, we get pulled in because like one side, we hate him. The other side, we love him. And we're just like, no, he doesn't matter. The whole Supreme Court is like unconstitutional. They hit everybody, put everybody in prison behind all the wars. They're okay. They're completely bought out. So it's pointless. 
putting a rapist on if he is if he is that putting a rapist on a board with war criminals and co people complicit with just the destruction of a looting of a country is it's, it's meaningless it is. we get pulled in you know but it's a different type of message we can't be quiet and like hate them or love them just sit back and say you know what maybe it doesn't matter because he wrote the patriot act maybe he's joining people who agree with him and so just i think it's just do the opposite of whatever they want you to do and that well, way at least we know uh-huh half information Gerard. well because you're right though because he because he did write the patriot act and they're like but they forgot that the democrats all voted with him for the patriot act so you don't have <laughs> There's no case. There's no case to make. You're just selectively choosing when to be upset about it. Like, you can't do that. But they do that with Obama, too. We like him because he did this, but he also signed NDA Act 2012, which instituted right. the right. thing that Trump is doing now. Right. You don't get to pick and choose history. You don't get to do that. Either you acknowledge history or you don't. That's it. That's all there is to it. It's one or the other. Not, but You can't be arrogant and dependent. You just right. can't do that. You just can't. Right. So, right. so if, they, if they want you cheering Obama, don't. If don't they want you cheering Trump. Don't. If or even talking like, with, or even talking about just the narratives in general. They don't want us talking. Yeah. They want us arguing narratives, not facts. They want us yes. arguing narratives on facts. Mm -hmm. right. That's real. That's talk. Chris, Hedges has, Chris Hedges has already told us this for so many years. He's worked for Wall Street Journal for so long. He's like, no, they have they have narratives, and you guys just sit there and argue the narratives, not what's actually happening. Yes. They, they yes. structure the narrative so that we attack the narrative, and then we get nothing else done. Mm -hmm. That's how we, that's how they know we're predictable. That's how they know we are. We're predictable. We just are. That's so true. They that know is we so true, Ty. We are so predictable. And it's like they toss something out. They toss the bait and we we get hooked and attached to it. We start wrestling over the same bait over and over and over again because we've been predictable. But I think that has to do with the education system and really teaching us the the things that create the logic within our minds because the logic the logic that we have comes from somewhere you know this is not just logic that materializes from natural free thought this is logic that comes from being taught in a certain manner and not just in a certain manner but certain information and this yep. information doesn't have to be factually true because Correct. the information goes hand in hand with a narrative that has been created hence americans are taught to feel like patriots you know they yes. feel like patriots because they've been taught since young that they have to be patriotic to the place they were born yes. not informed they they're not taught to be informed about the place you were born no don't no. forget being informed to the court just go along with the narrative that we created because it feels it feels good and look yeah. don't you see the movie the movie just tells you it feels good you know don't you hear that song that song tells you it feels good. You yes. know what I mean? We are the champions. <laughs> we are the champions <laughs> of the world. And the motherfuckers <laughs> really feel like America's <laughs> are the champions. And it's like, hold the hell up. There's an entire world out there for you to know, buddy. There's much yeah. more than like than American soil. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Get some diversity up in you, something. Yeah. It's it's big history, history, man. Department of education is unconstitutional. That's why it is. Because mm. it's indoctrination by definition. That is why. That is the only reason why, darling. Yeah. They knew. The founding fathers knew. They knew how mm. it would be corrupted. They sensed it would be. They sensed it's it not, would be, darling. It's not an accident. I, I, I go back to the words of George Carlin. I love George Carlin. That brother, he just nailed up in so many places. Cheers to him, darling. He, cheers to and Mr. Yeah, Carlin. Cheers, cheers, cheers to that brother. The brother, yeah. right before he was time, what did he say? He said, you know, he said, he said, he said, he said, I'm Irish. Why in the hell would I be proud to be Irish? Irish of a genetic, of a genetic, a damn genetic right. mistake. <laughs> why? He said, why? Why, do we be proud? why do we teach kids to be proud of things they didn't even do? Why, why? do kids to be proud why? of things they've accomplished? Teach them to be proud of something that they're doing or something that they want to do. Hey. Don't teach them that they were accidentally born in some place and you give them this stupid birth bigotry. They're American, they're German, they're French, they're races and religions. All of that stuff is it's just it's crazy. You know what I see it as? I see that you know how they take the tag and they put it on the cow's ear. That wow. tag. When these yep. kids are born, people tag their cow. Click mm -hmm. You know, and they give it a little label. You're number one seven seven seven. Get your social security number. Ah, brother, with them with Jay, with Jessica, where they at? Hey, you get your social security hey. number. That's who you are. Now you fit this narrative. 
Now, in the play, you're supposed to clap for these characters and everybody gets to clapping, you know, to the script and to the narrative when they need to question the whole damn screenplay. Right. That, that, was, that, was, that was one of the best sets he's ever done, though. Because actually the whole quote is, that's what he's like, I, like, I'm not proud to be Irish. Are you proud to be 5'2 or have a predisposition to colon cancer? Then right. what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? You're proud of things that you have no control over? That's not a thing. That's not a thing. It's just yeah. not... It just like Emerson, said, if, if Emerson said yeah. chattel. I, I love this, right? Because somebody said this to me not too long ago. They said, yeah, okay, you keep calling yourself a slave and you're in forced labor, but it's not chattel slavery. And I stopped and said, wait a minute. It's not chattel slavery. We teach the kids to be the same forced, indoctrinated, slave-minded, cow ear tag, same, the same exact. We handed down generation to generation to generation. This is chattel slavery. It never stopped. The only difference is everybody's included. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And that's what they meant by the new world. Dick Gregory yeah. said this. Too. He's like, but this black person asked him, well, what about white supremacy? Like, no, they, they meant supremacy over all of you, you dumb cunts. They, they didn't mean just black people. They meant over all of oh. you, all of you. Oh. Supremacy, supremacy, sweetheart. Supremacy. Right. That's what it means. But but the tiki torch Nazis. But the, aren't we supposed to be worried about the tiki torch Nazis? They might they might burn a barbecue or something. Well, here's the problem. They just they just think Nazis are only the people that hold torches instead of the people that wear suits. That's the problem. Oh right. man, talk about it, Ty. Talk. That's, that's real talk. Problem. That's what it is. They just don't get it. They don't get it at all. So <laughs> they optimize these images. They optimize these images just to throw in and fit the narrative. You know what I mean? People have seen Trump become elected and they have this narrative of the white nationalists are still heavily in America. So what are we going to do about this type of person? And the mainstream media has found this Charlottesville and puts them all over the media. Bam, bam, everywhere. And that's all you could think about if you watch the mainstream filth. That's all your mind is thinking about. Oh, white national. We had to be mad. We had to hate. The, we have to counter protest there. Whatever fake protest. Who knows what's going on? We don't have to talk to these these people and figure out how misguided they are or really when i think it's like this when you talk to these people instead of judging them by what you have been told to judge them by you realize that something's not right you know what i mean because when you start communicating you realize that they're not no dummies like they you you think they're dumb. They're educated folk as well. You know what I mean? They might not be as educated, but they're educated as well. They work as well. They put in the same type of work you put in them nine to five or whatever. They, can, they take care of their families the same way you take care of your family. They, they want to protect their babies the same way you want to protect their babies. The only thing is the misinformation that tells them that they should be trying to protect what they're trying to accumulate against the other people that are trying to get a piece of their pie when that's not really the true thing that's happening. Black people are not trying to get a piece of the white pie. Mexicans are not trying to get a piece of all of our pie. Like they're trying to say, no, there's plenty of pie for everybody to eat exactly. off of, really. Exactly. But the Chris, system I, Chris, doesn't I love, want you to believe the, that. I love the title of your show, too. That's why I love that yours is called Deprogramming Repro. That's exactly, it's a deprogramming. Right. right. It's a deprogramming. Because yeah. I've asked this question. How is the CIA not Nazi? Nobody's answered me. Right. Nobody's answered me. Not once. How is the CIA not Nazis? Anyone? Right. Anyone? Right. Then be quiet. Because right. now you're picking and choosing. You're picking and yes. choosing. Yeah. Yes. Because they you're, are you're the picking an easy right. target. You're picking right. an easy target. You're not targeting the people that actually can destroy you. Jeffrey Sterling is a CIA whistleblower that was jailed by Obama because he, he called out the fact that the CIA was specifically targeting black people. Right. That's why he was. Right. Doing it. That's why he was. So you know, Obama's your hero, huh? No, he's a coon. Sorry, everybody. He's a coon. He's a coon. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, I, I want to go back to Charlottesville. So, I, so I, my my take on Charlottesville was this. I to be I have to be honest with you. I was not mad at Trump when he said it first. I was mad that he backed down from it when he he said, "Wait a minute, we got people on both sides acting up." Me, I the, the KKK. They have a march like five minutes down the road from me every year. Every year I drive, past, I, you know, once over there at lunch break, I, on my lunch break, I went over there and watched the march. I was over there eating my sandwich. <laughs> I was watching them hand out leaflet. I don't, you know, these things don't bother me. But the thing that pissed me off was he changed his mind. When you got two sides that show up who want to fight and one got urine balloons, let, let me, let me tell you, let me tell you, I'm going to tell you something. 
if I was standing over there next to some white nationalists, mm-hmm. somebody throw a urine balloon at me, or somebody throw a urine balloon at the Nazi, mm-hmm. and it splatter and some like two, three day old urine hit my face, I'm, I'm, a, you're not gonna like what I'm gonna do next. <laughs> You know, well, look, look, I'll be like, brothers, let's get them. And I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to be, I'm going to be going. Oh, you know, is that look, your look, is that your, God, is this your, God, oh man, I'm, I'm, look, brothers, let's go get them next. Nah, I, I can't say the word, but let's go get them darkies, <laughs> man. I'm going to be over there fight. Listen, listen, I don't have time for this. I, this is my take on Charlottesville. Everybody's like trying to, you know, be upset at the guy that drove the what he drive a charger and ran over that little girl. Heather, everybody's Heather upset, Williams. right? And every and everybody's happy. Oh, he's he's going to jail. Everything's good. It's good now. To me, I'm just like, no, it's not. Because if you got somebody that's raised in America that is so destitute, so just born in a place that's just so evil that they actually can drive a car over a crowd of human beings. We need to know where that community is at. We need to go help those people. We don't need to be chastising those people. You need to figure out, are they, does he have a daughter? Does he have a son? Are there little brothers and cousins coming up with the same amount of anger and hatred that's misplaced on the wrong people and you fix the problem? You know, every, we're always after justice, 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 and there's no prevention. They didn't, they didn't research it. They didn't research it. We did. That's why they're mad at us, because Charlottesville is a complete fraud. Here's why. Here's why, Don. You ready? Get ready. Get ready. Go for it. You didn't research it. The white nationalists and, and Black Lives Matter rode on the same bus to the protest. <laughs> the same bus. It's called crowdsondemand.com. Look them up. That does not the, surprise The person me. who organized the Tiki Torque March was the person who worked in Obama's administration and now works for Time Warner. That mm. does not surprise me. You know who said that? I'm I, I'm, I'm gonna confirm that with you. Everyone in your cute little social justice outrage, how cute. I'm gonna Study confirm that with you. We have a search bar, bitches. We have a search bar. Thanks for <laughs> we got the search bar. And, thanks for you know the, the, the first thing thanks I did after playing. Charlottesville, you know what I did? I went to go see what Alex Jones said. The first thing after Charlottesville, and this is why, because when something happens and somebody wants me to be upset about something, I first wanna check what the other side had to say. Exactly. And so I went, I watched Alex Jones. And you know what was on? He had a few of the reporters who were there. And what mm. the reporter said is, he said, the problem is the same people are showing up to every damn march and rally. We know the who they people, are. The we know their names. Absence. The they're same people paid to up. They, paid they show to up, they, yep. start, they start the fight, and mm-hmm. they lead Dodge. Real shit. Real shit. They said the that. Yep. But nobody yep. focused on that. And, 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 and that was the reporter's issue. You can go, oh, you know what they do? I guess they deleted all Alex stuff. But but he he had the reporter on. And he said, he said the same people. We know their names. We know who they are. They keep showing up. They start the fights. And then they leave. And yeah. nobody focuses on that. Yeah. Same, same thing with the Middle East, too. All those Middle East, all those, all those groups are actually the same people rebranded again. That's all they are. They're, this, they're literally the same people. They just join ISIS, and then they leave, and then they join, and then they join... Uh, Boko Haram, and then they join this, and, then, and they're the same people over and mm-hmm. over again. Const- and guess what? Constructed. They're, fun- they're funded by the same people. Exactly. Over over exactly. Over they get weapons from the same people over and over again. They have Toyota tanks. Toyotas. They have Toyotas. <laughs> <laughs> is Toyota not guilty though? Is to- Toyota's not guilty? It's just. It's just. Muslims and every and white people and all no right right the corporations are guilty <laughs> here your corporations are hence World War II when Ford funded the Nazis on purpose thanks for playing right yo real <laughs> shit real <laughs> shit funded them motherfuckers the pe- uh, El Presidente yeah and why because we believe it we do that's why we, we believe do. it. We, we eat it up. We eat, oh, I hate me some white nationalists. Oh, I hate me some darkies. I hate me ISIS. I hate me some ISIL. People just keep going on and on. They believe, and it's just a, it's like Kabuki theater. It's a show over and over. That's why I laugh I, at it. I didn't. I didn't think they actually believe. I didn't think they believe. I thought they were faking it. I'm like, no, they actually. They actually trust the system. They trust it. They think it's going to protect them. They think it is. Yeah. They think it is legitimately going to do that. They really, they really do. And I'm just like, I'm just stunned by that. And the position that you're in right now, you make $20 a fucking week, bitches. 
Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous, darling. This is ridiculous. It's so this sad. Might- this I, I, I laugh at it and I always talk about automation. I always talk about the robot, the automation economy that's coming. Everybody's so mad at all the humans, all the humans fighting each other and the humans. They, we don't we don't make it in the end. We don't yeah. make we're all worried about poor people. And it, I was only thinking about this. Make. Huh? Only only if you make it. That's the elite right now. How yep. it's looking. The elite. And they'll be ready. We're going to be won't. looking up we in the sky. Like, wow, what? That's that looks beautiful from or that looks amazing from down here, but we can't get up there because we're too dumb and we hate each other. Oh my god! And there's they're showering each other with joy and happies of life. With oh, they're actually laughing. prevailing. They're you laughing know? and taking bets. Yeah, that's right. what they're doing. taking bets. And, they're, they're real shit. It's a game. It's like, when are we going to? This is another thing that's scary. The technology is already took off. You know, we're stuck, we're stagnant in thinking that the technology of what it is today is modernized. No, yep. this technology is old as fuck. Yep. Honestly, it's, it's so, really old, old as so fuck. well doctored. So well doctored. Well so well well they're like, oh my God, this is so amazing. Did you see what that did? Did you see what this did and all this? Oh my God, this is beautiful. But they don't know that this technology is 40 years already advanced. Yep. Because they, they haven't and, studied HARP or DARPA or anybody else. They don't understand no. defense contractors. Right. They don't understand what defense contracts are. They don't understand. And, they it, don't and it's, the, the technolo- They're giving us what they want to give us, which is the tidbits. They have all the technology they want. They're set. They're set to go. Bye, everybody else. Good luck on your journey. <laughs> Good luck on your journey, darling. Good luck. But so, when they're done, when they're done, and that's when they start selling it, like, when you start seeing them selling M1 Abrams tanks right. to ISIS, and, and right. like, that's right. how you know the M1 <laughs> Abrams 44 is already done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there are always so many stuff. I mean, I think about it for me. Do you actually think the corrupt, murdery bastards behind America would actually give their allies stuff that 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 they don't have something that could crush tomorrow? Right. There you go. They do. Right. There you already go. That's why, so nice. why would you give your allies weapons? Why would you do that? <laughs> why or, or anybody else? Why you would you give anybody else, else an upper hand to you? You're not going to do that. You exactly. wouldn't my definition. That's, you just wouldn't. That's common sense shit right there. You know you what I mean? Think. Come on now. Come on now. You, you would think like free energy. Are they ever going to make free energy? First of all, energy has always been free. Always. Always. <laughs> always. Yeah, it's always been free. Always been free. It didn't, it never cost a dime till we were <laughs> dumb enough to get jobs. When we were dumb enough to get jobs, right. yeah, energy got oh my god, the price is going up. Energy just going up. Um, <laughs> um turn look, hold, hold, hold. turn the lights off. Turn the lights off. Turn the damn lights off. You know how much this bill was this month. Turn that damn light off. You know, you know how much that bill was. Uh, you always need the damn lights on. Why you, uh, always like, why you always wasting electricity? It's like, hold on. refrigerator. Really you got free for real, for real. This is a refrigerator. You dumb. You, you letting all the cold air out. You letting all the cold damn air out the refrigerator. Gerard, close the refrigerator. <laughs> My parents yelling at me. <laughs> I just love oh, it. Just, just love it. Give me all the dumb. lies. That's why I say that. That's why I say it. Give me all the lies. Give me all the lies. I want right. all of them. My I want own. all the lies. Give me um, the lies. Give me the lie. They're helping. They're doing. The, oh, yeah, sure they are. Sure they are, honey. Yeah. What else? What else do you believe? Yeah. Yeah. Your beliefs, my beliefs, my feelings. Yeah. Give it. Give it. Give it. Give it. Give it. I love it. I love it. I, love it. I like crave it now. I like, crave it. You know, it's, it's like a weird sadistic thing now. I'm like, yes, yes. Lie to me. Lie to me. Lie to me. Lie to me. <laughs> Ty, Ty, I don't like hate speech, Ty. It makes me don't make me feel good about myself. I don't like hate speech, Ty. I don't want to hear no hate speech. Oh, the hate speech. All the hate speech. All of it. That's what that's what it, that was the first video that went viral was that one when I defended Roseanne. That was it. It was 156 people <laughs> tuning in live. Oh my God. I, was, I, was, I was on their ass about her. I was like, oh, you better defend God. this woman. Fuck you. You better you defend her. Rush? You no. better defend her. You better do it. Because your ass will be next. Your ass will be next if you don't defend her. Right. You will right. be next. You will factually. Orwell said it. That's why all of our post-colonial studies in American in American institutions are based on George Orwell. That's why they are. Orwell mm. had it, and the rest of you didn't read them. That's the problem. Mm. Go yeah. read George Orwell, you lazy cunts. Go read them. Go yeah. read them. I'm tired of I, that. I'm tired of the lies. How bad, 
How bad is a bad guy? Really? That's what it comes down to is everybody's got their bad guy and they pretend they're a good guy, but they're yep. all there are no heroes. Guys. There are no villains. There are no, no heroes. Villains. There are no villains. It's just it, none. It, it doesn't exist. It just doesn't. So yeah. <laughs> sorry, everybody. It doesn't exist. Sorry. You want a vill You want a Marvel villain to attack altogether? You can't because it's your own behavior. It's you doing right. it. You're all consenting right. to rule. So stop consenting to it. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it, darling. We keep propping them up. It's like, you know what? I've been looking at a demo democracy lately. Like I've been listening to um, audio books from uh, Plato. Like I, I, I'm really, we messed up when we let go of the philosophers. Like we messed up when we murder all of them. But yep. when you think about a democracy, it's, 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 it truly, not only is it a mob rule, but it's a mob rule at best. Like when the human mob is in control, at least they're still human. The world we're coming into now, it's not even a human mob behind the, the democracies. These are corporate mobs. These are industries. This, this is big money where humans don't even have a voice. And the scariest thing is the mob humans in our country, the Democrats and Republicans, they don't even have a voice. They just act like they have a voice. This is all big corporations that completely run everything in the world. And they pretend that they got all the control. And this is Mul multinational crazy. conglomerates, Starling, it, along with AI, which is also here, <laughs> which is forming its own opinion against us. Yeah. Right now. It's watching us right now. Like, I don't like you. I don't like you. I'm going yep. to murder you. I'm going to kill you. I'm first, I'm going <laughs> to cut your head off and I'm going to stick a probe in your. Yeah. <laughs> they, they don't even realize how they don't even realize they're there. Sophia and Tyler and all these people. There's yeah, a whole bunch of, there. a whole bunch of AI. Oh, they there. talk to themselves. That's why they were trying to stop them because the AIs are talking to themselves against us oh, now. Shit. They were trying to stop yeah. it. They can't. It's too late. You created them. It's too late. It's done. Now, now they're now they're now they're studying us. Now, now the AIs are studying us and going, okay, here's where you all fucked up. Here's how we're gonna manipulate you. That's right. what it's gonna be. That's what it's gonna be, darling. So, the only see, I I dig that. The only good thing about that is. We're probably too far gone from that. We are much smarter than AI. Oh yes. Deep down inside, deep down in our in our in our processes up here, we're much smarter than AI because in order for AI to be created, it took that mind to be in tune with information Indeed. to be able to bring this to life. You know, and our minds are still in tune. Our minds can still process in the way that can create this technology or this advancements, but Think about if we put our minds together to do it in the way that benefits humanity. You know what I mean? Not in the way that it's trying to, I guess, make us dumber, which is apparently the the goal, end goal for these elites or whatever the case is, because they want us to rely on the artificial intelligence instead of relying on each other. And think about it. When you have this era of technology and all the glitz and the glamour of it all, and people are look, people are racing to buy the new iPhones and stuff like that, think about what the race is going to be to get in touch with the AI or the whole or have a piece of the AI and or or these new gadgets and things that are going to come out. You know, we're not going to be utilizing each other's innovational skills or innovational um tendencies. Like I don't know what the fuck it's called, but our ability to innovate individually is not being collectively put together to produce for the people's sake. You know, it's only being collectively harvested to make the elite's agenda yes. Yes. even more fine tuned. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. It's it, it, that's why they don't teach trades anymore. They don't want us to know trades because if we know trades, we're independent from them. That's why they mm -hmm. don't. So that's why they don't teach it. That's why mm -hmm. they don't. They don't want us to be independent. They don't want us to do that. They want us to be dependent on them because then we can't challenge them, can we? Right. If right. Nestle owns our water supply, then what are we supposed to do? Nothing. Because Nestle right. owns us. See? Right. They want us to not know how to do trades. That's why they stopped teaching trades specifically. That's why education today is indoctrination. That's why it is. And even people who are educated know this. Christopher Hitchens, a great investigative journalist and Oxford professor, was like, uh, "Academia is overrated, darling. If you if you know if you know how to do it yourself, do it. Fuck yeah. that. Yeah. There's also no such thing as a law license, by the way. You can all practice law if you want to. There is right. no such thing as a law. You can represent yourself in court. Or you can represent yourself. You can do you it yourself. Everything you can do, you can do yourself. Everything." They don't want you to know that, though. They don't right. want you. They want right. you to be dependent. Because if you're dependent, you can't challenge them, and they know oh, it. Shit. They know it. Yeah. That's and the funny part. Another thing: if you're dependent, you're not going to 
independently research. Exactly. Because you're dependent upon the information that you've always yeah, been. We, we trust authorities and celebrities, and people like me. Right. We're show business and fun and glamour and razzle dazzle. So you trust us. You trust celebrities, and celebrity is a cult. And you all need to realize that celebrities are cults. I've met several of them, as you know. I work in show business. These are mm -hmm. cults. This is a cult. And you need to stop worshiping celebrities. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They're indoctrinated to control you. They know that they know that you will follow celebrities. They know you will. So that's why they have to specifically co-opt celebrities and art. That's why they do it. That's why they do. They know the power of art. They know that art is weapons. It's weapons. Right. And they know that. Right. They appreciate it, and you guys don't. So start appreciating it. Real start shit. appreciating art as weapons, darling. That's so, real so, shit, though. That is true, because creativity... Yeah. We all have some individual creativity that we we can be producers from, you know what I mean? And we can give back to the the whole of society or whatever the case is. But we don't know, even know that, Chris. Know that, know that, Chris, but, but they're not creative. Know that. That's why they co-opt us. Because they right. are not Talk about it. They are Talk not creative. It. That's they why they have to co-opt us. That's mm. why they have to do that, because mm -hmm. they don't have it. They Man, don't no have your talents. No. They don't they have it. They need Real to co-op and get it. That's what it is. That's what Talk it is. Talk about it. So, so, but you know what? But the, but the thing is with that though, and I and I'm and I'm good with that. And I agree that we are smarter than AI. We got all the talent. We can we can use all our abilities to help human beings and fix the planet and all that stuff. But the but the first step, we have no controller in this game. We have it's like a game control. Like I think right. about how we we are smarter than AI. Yeah, we're smarter than AI. <laughs> I, I there's a reason I don't play my kids in video games. No more. <laughs> there's a reason. When they were little, I used to beat their tails, right. man. We get right. in there, we get in little Mario cars. Like, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, take that, it's like, right. <laughs> Daddy. Keep beating us, you know. But now them little suckers, man. They got that hand-eye coordination. Going to take. I can't even keep. I don't test the video games because I got to win everything, right? Right. But, I, but, I might broadcast the video games, Gerard. I might do that with you because there's, there's, there's. We need there's, to. We, yeah. we need there's, to. Yeah. You know, but the thing is, human beings, they don't have, we don't have a controller. We yeah. can be smart yeah. as we want to. And in every video game I see, who does the robot kill? They always kill the people that the things that don't have controllers, the little dummies in the game. Yeah. That, <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who died on Star Trek? The little dummy with the red shirt. You know, the one he just stepped in the cast. He did that. <laughs> we didn't have a controller. Preach your girl. Preach your girl. Step one, step one we Preacher might want to get a controller because if we don't control AI and killer murder robots and drones, we right. might die. Why are people dying all over the Middle East and Africa right now? Because they don't have drone controllers and the Democrats right. and Republicans do that are murdering them. And Britain mm -hmm. and France and the rest of you murdery bastards. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And that's was that's that a Drake, good, that's was that Drake that said that? Was that Drake that said that uh, Deuteronomy like controller? Yeah, that was Drake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> controller. Yeah, it was Drake. That's real shit though. But no, that analogy is great. It's huge because guess what? We're watching. It's like this. We, you know how when you're at your friend's crib and it's a one-player game. Mm -hmm. Only one player can have that control, but yeah. the rest of the friends are watching that guy play the game. You know what I mean? And right now we're watching the elites play the game and yep. we are the game. You know what I mean? They're playing us and we're watching it. We're standing by white. We, we want to control it. This is so crazy. Gee, that's yeah. amazing. It's so crazy. Cause like this, we want to control the fucking game so bad that we try to take control of everything in our individual lives, whether it be our family, our significant others, our kids, people at work. We want to control them. We're like, no, we we're and it's driving us crazy because we want to control things when we shouldn't even be trying to control it. You know what I mean? We should be trying to understand it mm. more than anything. You know what I mean? And the Buddhists oh. said the, the Buddhists have said that your your seeking of control is why you are in misery. That is why you are. You seek control of other people, which you cannot get and will not get. You will not get it. You mm -hmm. will not control other people. Yeah. You will not. Factually, yeah. humans don't like to be controlled. When you start telling other people what to do, and bad things happen. Bad right. things happen. That's why I ain't married now. <laughs> you start telling other people what to do, bad things happen. Good luck. Listen, listen. Good luck because you. 
good luck. Human beings don't, they don't give a damn what you feel about abortion. They don't care. That's their body. They right. don't care what you, right. how you feel about their guns. They don't really care. That's their house. They don't really care how you feel about the vaccines you want to put in there. But human beings, we are born free and they don't give a damn what you think they should do with their body. And that's that with trying to control other people. That's why we can't get a game control. That's why we're in this. These games had anything called um, when I was a kid. Everybody got to play. Everybody got a game control. Everybody played. Now they have these things called observer where you, you don't even get to play the game. You just can sit and watch. You don't get right. a controller. You can, and so now the people who are like have the microphones who are telling everybody who to vote for, what to think, who to be upset about, when, who should be on the Supreme Court and all of this dumb stuff. Mm-hmm. They're just observers. They don't even have control as their damn self. Right. Everybody's following them. Carl Rove said it, though. He did say it publicly. He's like, we, we decide the policies and you guys just report on us. And that's what you'll be doing from, from now on. That's what you'll be doing. Wow. We make the history and you will be reporting it. And that's all you'll be doing. And he's like, he was right about that. He was right. Carl Rove was, was right about that. He was So. Yeah. Clearly. I'm seeing a room. I'm what are we doing? Because room. Room. what are we doing? Yeah. We're not doing anything. Yeah. So he was right. Yeah. We're, just, we're just reporting on what they do. We're not doing anything. As right. he said. As he just said in 2011, he said that. Yep. That's we're, we're, but we're but we're teaching Look you to happened. like it. We're teaching you what to be upset about, when to be upset about it, exactly. why to be upset about exactly. it, and when you're done being upset about social it, you need the next thing to be upset. It's yes. called social engineering. That's what it is. That's what it is, darling. That's what it is. That, that Eddie Bernays stuff. If y'all don't know who Eddie Bernays, Eddie Bernays is, darling. If you guys have not read Eddie Bernays, the, the creature from Jekyll Island or anything like that, read that stuff, guys. Read it. They tell you everything. They tell you. Here's what we're going to do to you. Here's what we're going to do. PDAC, the project for the new American century, uh, the Quigley formula, mm-hmm. silent weapons for quiet wars, all of these documents, they tell you, we are going to manipulate you. We're going to control you. Listen up. Do y'all have a book list? Not. And you do will see have... That's what do it is. Have... Do y'all have book lists? Do yeah. Have book lists, that... Like book lists that people should read? On your Facebook, you need to have make an album for your book list and put yeah. all the books you feel people should read. I have mine. I, I post them up every time I hear something like, you know what? I need to pay attention. I need to read that. I need to, because when people step on there, there are a lot of people who follow you who yeah. will go and they'll listen. That's not the ones with the mouth. <laughs> yeah. Not the ones commenting right. most times. But there are a lot of people who need to get up to speed. And if they see these things, they'll go and they'll read them. You guys should have book lists, definitely. Mm-hmm. definitely. Well, the loudest people are the people that have no voice. That's why they're loud. They're factions. They're loud because they have nothing to say. That is why. That, right. and that's why they're highlighted. Highlighted factions. That's why they are. That's why specifically. Because they have nothing to say. They go Wanda with the link. You know, they go Wanda. I gotta put Wanda's link. You can't even click on this. I love Wanda. I love I Wanda. Love Wanda. Wanda, is, Wanda, is Wanda is all Wanda is my fucking what? life. I don't Wanda have to do Wanda anything. It's my life, darling. Yes. Wanda is on it. She's Wanda on it. Is, every she's every time I post on it, she's on it. She, what is like, on it, darling. Wanda's somebody on starts it. questioning. Wanda's like, boop, boop, hit a link, hit a link, right? Hit it. But what is I love her. I love her. I fucking love her so much. I love her so much. I really do. Wanda is off the track. But you know what I'm saying? You don't have to have a voice. You don't have to go on camera and put yourself out there, expose yourself to people. All mm-hmm. you got to do is join in. Find where you fit in. And if you don't know where you fit in, just do what Wanda does. Sit back. When somebody says something and it ain't true, or if somebody says something and they're like, they're fighting, just post a link. Just post a yeah. link. Yeah, Elaine, Joe, all of them. Like, they, they will give you links real quick. Here's the link. Here it is. Yeah, that's a couple of them. Yes. Elaine, Here Joe, yeah. <laughs> but, but, see, but, see, but see, later they're like, you didn't give us any information. No, you weren't paying attention. No. You are right. paying attention. It's right. They give train. you the links yeah. when we're talking about it. While we're talking about it, they give you the links. You're just you're not homework. paying attention. You're just not paying you're attention. That's all it is. Nope. That's all it is. So don't bring foolishness to a factual fight. Don't bring your outrage to a fight of facts. Don't bring a right. game. That's, what it is. that's exactly what it is. Yep. <laughs> and that's what don't. people do. That's you know what's funny that you said that. That's what the atmosphere is right now. Instead of bringing information, instead of bringing facts, people are bringing fake. I call it fake outrage because I'm looking at it like this is this mainstream media government bullshit ass same old narrative that they've been spitting for years and years and years. Can we 
rise above it in your mind. First, it's like, look, get off of the Kool Aid. You know what I mean? You know what they, they I guess they call it Kool Aid or whatever the fuck they call it. I don't, know what, the I don't know what type of shit they drinking. Get off of it. Because when you do that, you allow your mind to open up to the expansive space that there is out there. You know, and what I mean by space is I mean information. There's tons and tons of information. You know, what I mean? I'm still feeling like I'm a dummy. Even if I feel like I know a little bit, I'm a dummy because there is so much more out there for me to know. And that's all of us. You know what I mean? We all yes. have much yeah. more to understand and know that we can process, you know, because one thing I realize is it's about processing. You know, we have to process the right information in order for us to communicate the right way. People are not processing the right information because they rely on the mainstream media. They rely on the education system of indoctrination. They rely on the patriot, their their the patriotic and proud uh, faith in the government. And a lot of adults have never taken the time to search out and seek the information for themselves. And it doesn't take it. This is the funny thing. It doesn't take a lot of time. It's like the hour you would dedicate to watching your favorite TV show. You could take that hour and research some information about things that have been happening lately. But you have to research with an open mind. You can't research with, oh, I'm an American. I'm black. I'm white. I'm this. I'm that. And I, that's how I'm researching. Oh, because that's what it is. And no, that blocks your understanding. That blocks clarity because. But here's the thing, Chris. Here's the thing, Chris. I, I, I only want to correct you slightly. It's not. It's not fake outrage. It's selective. Ah, right. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. It's selective. Right, right. Because right. mm. they have they have legitimate complaints. They're just not researching enough about the topic to to be able to formulate an opinion against why it should be wrong or why this is. They're 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 choo they're picking and choosing when to be outraged about it. So they right. have a, everybody has a legitimate grievance, but they don't know how to go about it in the right way. That's, That's so the true. problem. That is so true. It, 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 it's 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 not an ideology issue. It's a it's a tactic issue. Their mm. tactics are wrong. Same thing. Same thing with Kavanaugh. There, there. We we want to oppose misogyny. We want right. to oppose. We 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 stand for women. But the way that they're doing it is not the way to help women. It's just not Talk the way to do that. It's Talk not about tactically. It's Talk a tactical about. issue. It's a tactical issue. It's not. It's not an ideology issue. They just don't know how to physically approach it. They don't know how to physically approach it. They just have an emotional reaction to it, right. which is the whole point. That's the whole point of social engineering. They want you to react. They don't want you to think. They want you to react. React to what's happening. React. 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 It's the same thing with consumption in advertising. Because my mom works in advertising. She's like, no, we're trying to make you react. We're trying to make you purchase something. Yes. Right. We're trying to make right. you get. You see what I'm saying? Like they're trying yeah. to. They're, they're manipulating you. It's a manipulation issue. That's why it's not so clean cut. as like we need to do that. No, like it's just we need to understand our own behavior when mm -hmm. we do something because we don't understand our behavior. We don't think that our behavior is a problem. We think it's just other people doing it to us. I'm like no, it's us consenting to that issue. It's us consenting to it. Mm -hmm. We're consenting to trust Target, to trust the FDA, to trust these people. We're trusting them and we shouldn't. Yeah. There's no reason to do that. There's no reason to do it, you know? I don't know him. I don't know. Who, who is that? I don't know the FDA. I don't know him. I, I ain't never been <laughs> there. I don't know. I don't know who her. These people are. I don't know her. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. I'll try. I, you know, I don't trust, I don't trust nobody. Listen, listen I, I was raised to your know, stranger danger, right? Stranger danger. Yeah, stranger danger. <laughs> I ain't supposed to talk to you. I ain't supposed to trust you. Oh, that's not like a I don't know you. Who? Who a DA? Who you? Who you? You, you know Julian from up the street? Who you know? I, I know, you. I know my name. How you know me? I'm a little skeptical. You know, people like they, 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 they trust the government. Hey, government? Who the government? Hey, the people call me a election time? I don't know them. Right, right. They, 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 they mama something? They, they mama know me? It's like, I don't know them. Mama, say Mama Simon Marcus side now. Like, just, <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know what? You know, so, so the thing I like about selective outrage is it's easy to identify. It's just you ask yourself the question, do I do it? Mm. Does my group do it? Have we done it in the past? 
Were we a part tea. of writing the Give law? Give me the tea, Gerard. Give right? me the tea, girl. It's, just, it's, Give me just the tea, girl. It, it's that simple. And, 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 if, and if you did your homework and you see your group did it too, your Supreme Court nominees were diddling their secretaries, then you know that you're a victim of selective outrage, that you've been giving a talking point. Mm -hmm. Sure are. And they're mm -hmm. playing with you. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to let people play with you in that way. And it's funny. And it's funny to them. It's funny to them, guys. They laugh and they take bets on you. Goldman Sachs is taking bets as the World Trade Center fell down. Watch mm -hmm. Naomi, watch uh, no, Nomi Prince, Nomi Prince, every two, she's at mm -hmm. Goldman Sachs whistleblower. They were taking bets as the World Trade Centers fell down. They were taking bets. I wonder how many people will die. I wonder how many people would actually be outraged about this. Let's take some bets. Mm -hmm. That's how mm -hmm. Goldman Sachs works, guys. That's how they work. That's how your banking system works, sweetheart. Right. They take yeah. bets on you. They think it's funny. That you blame other people for shit they're doing to you. They think it's funny. They think it's really funny. They really are. So does the Pentagon. They think it's funny. They think why it's fucking it, funny. Why is it funny? Why is it funny? It's funny because we have no idea what's going on. Exactly. No idea the level of technology that As they have. Designed. And As it's designed. A, it is yep. a game to them for a reason because it's they already know there's not really much you can do about it if y'all stay in your little ignorant groups. As long and, as you can't leave, leave the game bigger either. groups. Make sure you understand that you can't leave the game either because if you leave the game, that verifies the game. It yeah. verifies if you leave the game too. Ooh. So everything verifies the game. Oh, you have to is. learn how the game is played. Learn the game. Learn the game, darling. Learn the game. Mm. Because you're not going to get out of it. You won't. Ignorance of law is not an excuse of it. Legally, it's not. Even, it's if, you not don't know it, even if you don't know the law, that's not an excuse. By, by legal it, definition. That's, that's big facts. That's big facts. That is big facts. Because if you don't know the law, you're going to get taken advantage of for not you knowing will. the law. You will. You will factually. Facts. You sure will. Facts. You sure will. I that's that's that it, it, ignorance is, is, is an exclusion from the law. Something like that. No, it's not. It's not. That's why you can't. You can't be excused by, by being ignorant. You can't. Not legally. Yeah. Oh, we didn't know how the court system works. We didn't know how any of this. Work. Nope, not an excuse. Not. Right. It's, that's it's not, not an excuse. Yeah, that's not, not an excuse. It's, it's not. Shit. It's not legally an excuse. It's just not. So you you need to learn the game, or you'll be destroyed by it. One or the other. One or the other, darling. You better learn it. That's why I hate when people pretend to know law. Oh, Kavanaugh did this under oath. La 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 la. la. Cops are doing this to it. No, they're following all the laws. The judges and the cops um, are following law. They are following it. You're not because you don't know it because you didn't study it. So go study it. Stop pretending like you know laws you didn't read. You didn't read them. That's this is this is my ba this is my main problem because people do this with me all the time with racism. And I'm like, but what's the drug war? What does the drug war have to do with black oppression? See, you're done. Next, you're done. But you know what I like? I, I like examples for people because because examples help people. So, so like, you know, it, it explain how how is there systematic racism in the drug war? You just exactly. say it real simply. If, there's a law. There's a law. I hate it. Right. It, it specifically yeah. targets it specifically targets black black people, black males specifically, which mm -hmm. the U.N. cited, by the way, the U.N. cited the drug war as a, as a genocide against black males. Read that document. Read it. Yep. The U.N. cited it, even though the U.N. is yep. garbage. They even cited it. Everybody yeah. knows. It. Everybody knows. Everyone internationally knows that the drug war is targeted towards black males specifically. They know it is. They know it is. They've called the U.S. out on it. They've called them out on it. But they there's did. several other laws like that, too, where people just didn't read the actual history and programming of that to understand that the law is actually systematically targeted against. Uh, there's a police whistleblower named Michael A. Wood that has been telling everybody for years that he's like, He's like, no, we're, we're specifically trained as police to target black people and progressives and leftists We're specifically and, and right wing people are specifically targeted to do that specifically in a law to do it specifically. And it's, and it's and it's simple. And in the laws, they don't actually have to say it. And, and a good example, the example I like are the hillbillies. See, yeah, the hillbillies would have they would have N word of their day. They yep. didn't like them. And how, you know, and word, how they get rid of them? You know, that word is fine, you, but they just yeah, didn't you, research you did, the history of it. So. Right. so what you do is you look at how does the hillbilly feed his family? How does the hill hillbilly make money on the hill? Moonshine. So what do you do? You make moonshine illegal. Yep. That way you just made the lifestyle of the hillbilly illegal, illegal. without putting hillbilly in the law. You don't have yep. to put hillbilly. You, you don't to. have to you put have any to. of that. All you got to do is make illegal how they feed their family. 
Same and thing with drugs. That's, that's, right. the, and, and uh, that's exactly if, what if they you say. Yeah. Was, if you exactly. say legally, if you say you use drugs legally, that means they can treat you as animals. It means that right. Exactly. right. It means that exactly. legally in law. That's what exactly. it means. Exactly. Right. Yep. They just didn't study law. They just didn't. Yeah. They just didn't. And they, and the and they study history either. I love Brother Adam to study the little, little brief history moment, everybody. You know where the Ku Klux Klan came from? The Democratic Party. Yeah. Does everybody know Shocker. that? I, I don't know if everybody knows that. Is is good to know these things. It's good oh, to know. It's also good to know that New York was the second to last state to abolish slavery. Thanks, liberals. All right, real <laughs> shit. That oh, means that Alabama, oh, Georgia, that. Georgia, Mr. Mississippi, Bush. everybody else got rid of slavery before New York. Did. Thanks for playing. Thanks Thank for, for playing, playing. sweetheart. And, Your liberal was, frauds are frauds. Next. And, and who was the first gen- <laughs> who, who was the first general to release their slaves during the uh, Civil me. War? Sure it was, was before the Civil War. His sure name was, was Bobby Lee. Lee. He freed all his slaves before all the Northern generals who Real refused shit. to fight if they had to let go of their slaves. Because fuck but, the Union. Fuck right. the Union. Everything you know is a lie. That You just have to accept history. Everything is a lie. His story. Everything is a lie. The most Everything. murderous bastards write the law. They, that's, they why write that whistle, that's why I did that. That's why I did that whistleblower class. I'm so I'm so glad you guys saw that cast because that that cast is like blowing up. <laughs> I, that's why that's why I did that. I want people to understand that every organization they trust is a fraud, and there's You're whistleblowers from yeah. every single organization, including every one of my last one. one. And, and, well, well, no, and my mother is one too. Did you know that my mother is a whistleblower? No, what she who she work for? AT and T. Oh. Stop it. Stop it. No, no. There's discriminatory policies against black people on purpose. Hell, you got the whistle blowing. And was fired. And was fired for doing so. Whoa. What? Yep. Fired? Yep. Wow. After 15 yeah. years of working for them. After 15 years of working for them. Yep. Evelyn Anderson. She's a she's a she's a ATT whistleblower. Yeah. <laughs> I don't trust your corporate system, liberals or conservatives. I don't trust you. I don't trust your corporations. I don't. They're garbage. They're all garbage. Thank you. Thank you. There's nothing to contest me on. You just you just need to abandon them now. Abandon. Stop quoting them. Don't quote them to me again. Don't do it again. (laughs) Don't do it again. again. I'm not having it. I'm not Um, having it, darling. That's the heroes we need. G. Ty. That's the heroes we need. People that are going to be everyday whistleblowers to these fucking corporations that are lying to all of us. They these are. corporations that are taking advantage of all of us. We need whistleblowers within these corporations. But they're I, all don't, they're I don't all, know what don't it them. is that we don't believe them, Chris. They think they're crazy. They think we're all crazy. We're, yeah, crazy. we're nuts. They're they nuts. Think. All, all, yeah, and, and, and all the whistleblowers and all the whistleblowers are nuts. Every last one of them. AT and T been dirty a long time before the NSA was doing anything. Long before AT and T was about, AT and T was ruined. They, they had a two mile long data center under uh, what is the name of that base in Virginia? Um, Quantico, Virginia. Two yep. mile data. They they had mainframes for two miles recording every single phone call in the United States of America. Not sure that we that. didn't know that because they helped with the whole murder of JFK and Martin Luther King. But they yep. AT and T is dirty. I love that cast, by the way. If y'all didn't, if y'all have not watched Ty's cast on whistleblowers, you need to go back and watch yeah, every right. agency. You went through all of them. Every single agency, they all come. All these poor people. Like this is what I like most about a whistleblower, right? Versus trusting the corporation or the 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 alphabet agency. The whistleblower has nothing to gain. In fact, they right. got everything to. They're gonna lose their life, their career, they lost their everything. house. They might have to lead a country. Everything. They're willing to give up all of this. Are, are you like, are you are you friends to, with John Krakow? Because I'm friends with him too. Yeah, John, yeah, John. I, I think John. No, no, he lost his wife. He lost know, a lot. Of, he lost everything. He did. They he lost did. everything. By coming you know, out the CIA, he yeah. lost everything. He lost he, all of it. He sure did. You know, you know he sure did. It ruined his life. It ruined his life. So you need to make friends with Donna Hare. Donna Hare is a buddy of mine. I know. I couldn't believe that you knew Donna. Donna. I couldn't believe that you knew her. You actually yeah, know this bitch. She's a real person. Donna's Donna. no joke. She this talks about NASA what? editing UFOs at a fucking show. Yeah, see, see. It's crazy. It's right. fucking crazy. I was like, oh, my God, Donna. Oh, my God, bitch. And it's like 17 people that corroborate with her story that have worked in, this, in similar departments. I'm like, you bitches trust corporations. It's so sad. I, so I, I sad. 
It's so people, sad to me. Really I, people, people think I'm nuts why I talk about aliens a lot and UFOs. I didn't. Because I, didn't. I, I, compl- I, know, I completely understood you, Dur. I completely did. I know the people who worked on a lot of those black budget projects. And, black and, budgets. And, and right. I completely right. concur with the truth. And the truth is the majority of things people see flying in the sky are not aliens. They're, They're yeah. United States Air Force vehicles and yeah. British and Russian vehicles. Yes. Air yes. Force they, vehicles. Were, they were they were they stole they stole but, Tesla's they stole Tesla's knowledge of how to create where, real real because Tesla, Tesla yeah. by, the, by the way Tesla was found dead. Oh, that, that's how they found him. He was dead, and there was two FBI agents over him when they found him. That's when they yeah. found. Him. Yeah. No, Tesla knew how to give you free energy. They don't want you to have the things you want. You're not going to get free health care. You're not going to get any of those things. They don't want you to have those things. They don't want you to because they know you'll be free if you do. They know you will. But but you know know the funny thing is they can give it to you any day they want. They don't want to. They just don't give it to you because because it's a great thing because you fight. You fight over it. So why would they give it to you? It's exactly. a great tool. When they can for make them. money. When they can make yeah. money. Why would they cure AIDS if they could just if they could just make all gay men take prep? Yes. Right. And destroy right. our livers. Yeah. But the That's world like, is why strange. On prep? As a gay male, they're like, you should all be on prep. No. I know I know your pharmaceutical for profit industry. You're trying mm. to make us be dependent on some pills that will kill us all because mm-hmm. you think we're too stupid to realize that you are creating that problem. You are creating it. You could really? cure this right now. You don't want to cure gay men. You don't want to cure anything. You no. want us to be dependent on your system for pills. That's what you right. want. That's you're what sure. you want, factually. And so I will not be on prep for that reason. I will not be on it. You're they trying like to destroy money. us. We, we like get it. Adam, Adam we get it, it. it. I'm not here, not, money money I'm not here for it, honey. I'm not here yeah, for it, sweetheart. Yeah. I'm just not. I stay on top of it. I stay on top of it. That's what it is. That's what it is. I, I, and that's why the gay society doesn't like me because I'm not I'm not I'm not a part of their little gay, their little their little cute little corporate system bullshit. No, you trust corporations to protect you because you're gay and you're, and you're scared about being ostracized in the society. And most people support mm-hmm. it, as you've noticed. Because mm-hmm. why would I be here? Why mm-hmm. would I be here if, if everybody hated gays? They don't. That's mm-hmm. not a thing. It's that's not a right. thing. They're right. trying to scare right. you. They want you scared right. and ignorant and afraid because then you'll react the way they want to. When and you're sad and, and, and angry, you and act shit. ignorant, and you're easy to manipulate, and that is why. That is the and only it, reason. It's, that is the it's only a, reason. It's a new for every minority. They want you sad and scared yeah. and reactionary. That's what it, it is. It's a that's new what thing. it is. Because before we got jobs, so, uh, so that's why gays don't like me. That's why they don't. Because I'm not. I'm not part of their cute little their little neoliberal circle anymore. And I'm like, sorry about you. Sorry about you. <laughs> Sorry, I bothered they, to research it. And you nah, you on the outside of the gate. They got the gate. They got the the the, the, the uh, our brothers and sisters in the gay community separated and shit. You yeah. know what I mean? You yes. can't That's even talent. Like damn, you can't, can't, you know? can't even say it. And, and, and well, I was following Paul. Well, I was following all the all the comedians too, like like Paul Mooney and Dick Gregory and all these people that were telling us. For years, like they're, they're specifically trying to pitch you guys against me. That's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. Shit, they want bro. you to think that black people always hated gays or anything like that. Was never a thing. That was right. never, a never, thing. never, never a thing at any time. It never oh, was. It never shit. was. Yeah, Go back in time. But my father and mother completely yeah. accepted me the moment it happened. They were fine. They were oh, like, "Are you gay? Good." Actually, you know what my mother said when I came out? Well, my father was a little was a little mad about me coming out. My mother was like, you better shut the fuck up. Do you see what he makes? We're going to make so much fucking money. You better shut up. <laughs> I thought that shit was funny. I thought it was really, like, we're going to retire off him. You better be quiet. You better fucking be quiet. <laughs> I think that shit's so funny. So funny, darling. I think it's hilarious. That's why we don't have any actual enemies. We don't have any. They're not real. We've uh-huh. made these people up. We've made them up in our mind because we want a Marvel villain. Did you did you know the CEO of Marvel Entertainment is also the head of the Veterans Affair Office? What? Yep, same person. Same, same person. Same person. Wait, That's Marvel Inter- Marvel Entertainment? Yes, the people that make all the our, our, our little superhero movies is the Not same the head of the, of the Veterans Not Affairs the Office. The same one. The comics? Yes. Yes. How yes. Because it's institutional. Hey, it's institutional. People trust institutions. They trust them to. What has the Veterans Affairs Office done for veterans? Nothing at all. Not a, right. What's a veteran? That's why. What's a veteran? Because they veteran. don't want to help veterans. They what? just want 
fodder. They went cannon fodder. That's what they oh, want. Y'all want, y'all want. They want you to feel there. patriotic and do all this cute shit. That's why Marvel is the head of, of the same thing as the veterans. This is wow. what I mean. It's, it's convoluted nonsense wow. that people won't realize. And all, and all the new Democratic people that are that are now being elected and running office are all CAA operatives. All of them. Yes. All talk, of them are. Talk of that heavy shit. Talk of that heavy yeah. shit. They just need to learn. They just need to research. They need to research what's actually happening. Not what they want to be true, but what is actually true. What is yeah. actually happening actually, in the actually, empirical record. Because there's a record of everything. That's why. That's why people out. can't contest me, because there's a record of it. I can, fig- I can give you the physical document showing you that these are the things they're doing. And they just don't like it. See, that's the difference. They think I'm wrong because they don't like what I'm saying. Not that I'm wrong. They just don't like what is right. being said. Cool. La, 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 cool. So I'm you just verify that, why I'm wrong. I'm not listening to that time. Thank you very la, much. La, 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 that's, why, that's why I say it to you. That's why I say it, Chris. I say, I say it all the time. Give me the lies. Give me the lies. lies. I want the lies. lies. I want the lies. They're going to protect us. They're going to protect us. The Supreme Court, this, this, the president, this, this. Bring them all. Bring them all. Because first they were saying the president was the highest appointee in the land, and now they're saying the Supreme Court is. Mm. Wait, which one is it? Mm. Which one is it? Which Which one one? is it, Which 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 one one is it? it? Yeah, but you know like, what bothers me they, about they that? They don't even remember their own lies anymore. They don't even remember their own fucking lies. You oh, know, it's amazing. Say, it's amazing, girl. They, it's amazing. They say they say there are twelve levels of security, and this is why I drink, everyone. United this States is why person. I do. Well, that's why you, you got to drink. They Just say there are twelve levels. That's why of security it is. That's what it is. Above the the United States president. Let me ask you a question: How Damn, do you run well, a con- How huh? do you run a country? If you don't know the secrets, there are 12 levels of secrecy above Where'd the you United go? States president. Did you leave? No, he's here. Ty, he's right there. You can't oh, see him? Know, they cut him off on mine. They cut him off. Gerard. Oh. You can't see him? Ty, Ty, refresh your feed. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. we right back, everyone. We'll be right back. Yeah, they, they they try, they're trying to play with it. They're trying to mess it up. You know, you was yep. getting that no. sauce. Right. You was dropping that spill. Because we're probably oil spilling. <laughs> we're probably at like yeah. 68 people, so they're they're trying to get us now. Now they're trying to get us. We held it too. We, we held it. Yeah, they we were mad. Were they were mad about that shit. So hold on, wait. And we were holding it. Like hold that. on, hold on, hold on. You're not allowed to do that. Uh, you can't do that. Now he's favorite. You can pour people talking about NASA, the CIA, and FBI, That's funny. And Democrats, and Republicans. Oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Are you, war, okay, CIA, are, you are you mad? Are you mad now? Are you mad? Oh, <laughs> not, you should go. Oh, not on religious Sunday either. Religious? Oh, no. Religious Sunday. <laughs> oh, they get so mad at us. They get so mad. Oh, the alternative influence? Are we influencing people? Is that why you're stopping us now? Because we're influencing them? Ooh, are you going to cry, CIA? Come for me then. I'm waiting for your parked vans in front of my house. Come. Come. Because yes. they've done that a couple yes. times, by the way. They have. I've seen it. Yes. Oh, they're yeah, not. You gotta stay connected to the Wi Fi. They've done it. Yeah, I've seen it. Don't worry about that. Show you FBI this and FBI that on the Wi Fi. Like, it's so yeah. fucking. Weird, man. They, 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 they think weird. I'm scared of them. I'm like, bitch, I don't. I, you have nothing to get me on, bitch. Come, come for me, CIA. Uh-huh. Come. I got you. Got get nothing time. on me, honey. You get got nothing. You got Ty. nothing, darling. You got Wait, nothing. Ty. On me. G there? Ty. G there? Ty. Can you G-G? see me? I'm still here, but I, I don't see Gerard. He's not. He's not. He isn't coming. Tell, tell Ty to. God damn it. Okay, hold on. Wait. Wait. Give me a. Oh, this is ridiculous. Maybe you need to refresh your feed, G again. Do you refresh one more time? You just laugh at it. All right. Well, let let let. I'm gonna try again. Hold on, wait. If I can, right, refresh now, that. my phone's not even working. Now it's like that. It's not even responding to me. Oh shit! It's all going. It's all. Oh man, they fucking with the feed. Well, we. How long have we been on? Like an hour, two hours, or something like that. We've been on here for a minute. Yeah, so we've been on. It my for dad died and everything. I'm like, oh god, darling. Like, oh, and god. you was dropping too. You was dropping too many bars. You too was many dropping bars. bars on bar. And they too said, many. hold up. Too they talking many too bars. much. They talking too much. Disturb. <laughs> <laughs> and we do that. That's that's why we're that's why they're tracking us. That's why they're very mad about it. They're very mad because we're we're because we're we're beating Rachel Maddow and all them. We're beating them. We are. No, you and know what's funny? Really, Honestly, we're beating them in sincerity, integrity, yes, yes. transparency, all these different things that really matter. We're beating yes. Them. Yes. Did you, so you so you saw you saw the thing about, 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 about trying to, Chris Hayes trying to attack James Corbin. Did you see that? I saw you talking about that. Yes. Yes, that's, that's why that's why they brought it up. 
because James that's Corbin great. and people like Sabelle Evans and all of us, they're like they're mad because we because we're we're out doing them. We're out doing them. Tony Tony Smith said said that my my reach on my reach when I do a post is thirty thousand okay. plus every single time. Oh wow! They're mad. Oh, yeah, he, they're, he did the Google really Analytics. Angry the Google Analytics. We could see. This is what I'm saying. We can do all the fucking information in ourselves. We can see yes. exactly what's going on. They ourselves. don't want us to. They don't want it. The, 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 the mainstream media is jealous of us. They're jealous of us. They really they are. are. They're really they're jealous. jealous. Good. Good, Gee, Rachel Maddow. Have me on. Yeah. Have me on, Rachel. Have me on. I, I'd be. I'd love to do it. I'd love to challenge. Rachel Maddow only bring Todd. They, they ain't gonna bring you on. They hate. They hate. They, if they bring you on, you but would. you know what? It'd be fun. It'd be fun because they trust her because she's because she's a lesbian commentator. I'm like, well, I'm a gay male commentator, so let's go. <laughs> right. Let's there you go, go, bitch. What's let's up? Go, Put, the bitch. Gloves on. Put the gloves on. <laughs> Put the gloves on. You dig what I'm saying? Like, Put the gloves. on. Trust her and like her. No, bitch, let's go. That would be a be that would be a lovely show, Ty. That would Wouldn't be a lovely it? show. Wouldn't it? Oh yeah, me me versus Rachel Maddow. Come, bitch. Next Come for me, out. bitch. Come for me, bitch. You would, she wouldn't dare because she works for MSNBC, so she wouldn't dare. I'm like, come on, come for me, bitch. Come for me, bitch. I dare you. I fucking dare you, bitch. I dare you. They be like, you got to go. What did you do there? You got to go. Don't and I would look so that. fabulous on that on the fucking feed and be like, oh, Rachel Maddow, you look so tacky. Look how great my outfit is. Aren't you sad? Aren't you sad that I look better than you? Aren't you sad? <laughs> you good, don't be afraid you of God. lipstick, Rachel. God. Don't be afraid of li- don't be afraid of God. lipstick, Rachel. It looks good. It looks good on you, darling. It looks good. All right. Don't be afraid, Bye. darling. Don't be afraid Bye. of me because I'm better than you. Don't be afraid. Bye. Anyway. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I'm such a bitch. Bye. I'm such a bitch. I'm sorry. I'm such a Bye. bitch. <laughs> I'm such a bitch. I just am, darling. I just am. Do you so, see G now? <laughs> no, God damn it. I wish I could. I don't know where he is. Tell, I can't. Tell my phone won't let me log off either. Back. I can't even do anything. Oh, Ty, just, Ty. Yeah. Leave and come go back. Go off and come back on again. Try to go off and come back on. Okay, okay. I'll try. Okay. Here stay on that yeah. link. Yeah, that was. Yeah, that, I, 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 that I got be some Legendary. You know what I'm saying? We can get, ind- get the independent. Knocking out the mainstream, you know what I mean? Knocking the mainstream guru down, that would be phenomenal. But it'll never Fashion. happen. Fashion, it'll, it'll never, never happen. It'll never, they'll never, it'll like never happen. happen. I just wish she was. I just wish she was, darling. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. You already know, G. It can't happen because people are gonna find out. Too many people are gonna find out then. You know what I mean? And when too many people know. That's controversy on the hands right. of the oppressors, you know. And th- what they want, like you said, like we talked about earlier, is control. As long as they have control, everything is peachy and creamy. Once they start losing control, they start. They have to create diversions. Diversion here, diversion there, distraction here, distraction there, and they know that people are easily distracted. You know what I mean? Well, we're and fearful. We're fearful. Or fearful, so they can play into the fear. It's 9-11. Oh, if we make people fear foreign terror or whatever the case is, they'll never see the real terror coming from within the borders. You know what I'm saying? Because the true terror is not from foreign lands. The true terror is not from white or black people. The true terror is from the system of governing that we allow to continue every day. You know? And... That's what we all need to find a way to communicate, to spread information, the right information about, and collectively act against it. You know, we have to, we can't talk, or we can't just talk about it. And, you know, we can talk because talking, like Ty was saying, networking, networking is key. We have to establish a strong and, you know, bonded network or just, frame and foundation, but we have to act. We can't know this stuff and not act on it. So for one to say, oh, I'm knowing all this, so I'm just going to continue my life and just do what I do knowing, but we have to act in a manner that counteracts or goes against the normal or goes against what's already been going on. You know, the standard of life, the status quo of life, the the mainstream narratives, the mainstream dialogue, the mainstream rhetoric. We have to counteract that with new messages. You know what I mean? Positive messages, not messages of division, not labels of division, but unification around the right information. You know, because when it comes down to it, 
it's about like nourishment. You know, I, I call it nourishment. Getting the right information, getting the proper information is nourishing to the soul because then you have clarity to think and process in a manner which you can critically come to the right solutions, perhaps, you know, because everybody doesn't have the solutions for what's going on because we are all still in our individual boxes or in our um, different environments. We are all raised in diverse environments. So we can have solutions for the environments we live in, but when it comes down to the collective whole, we have better understanding than that which the mainstream can give us. You know, and that's what we had to utilize. You know what I mean? But it, it doing doing the exact opposite. Of, but the first time, can you see me? Yeah, I'm here. I can see both. Top of you. Not top no, doing, all doing, now, so doing, doing the exact opposite and accepting the fact that we are seven billion family members, mm -hmm. cousins all mm -hmm. over this planet. Now we might be dumb as a bag of bricks. But we're all born the family. These little, all the family. All the family. family. All we're family. all family. We're all related. We all have the similar genetics. And we, if if people could really process that, the thing that they fear the most is that we're going to realize that we are all related, and we all start looking out for each other. Mm -hmm. The whole game stops overnight. It's scary, done. huh? It's done. scary for them. Mm -hmm. Very scary. That's the thing they fear the most. It's Montgomery, Montgomery Duvalier Chesterfield the Third's worst nightmare, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Let me uh, know how you feel about Gary. Chesterfield we'll coming back. back. We'll back Chesterfield. Wait, wait, Chesterfield coming back. back. Time we'll back. go away for five seconds and come back Chesterfield like magic. Mm. <laughs> no, no, uh, I, I think I'll do Montgomery when me, when me and Jay Cobb Michael discuss the Fed in this next week. All right, so awesome. he'll be back. Awesome. He'll be back. That one. We sure will. We that sure one. will. Son. We sure <laughs> will. That's the specialty, sure you know, the finances. You know what I mean? You got they to bring it out. Him. Bring it out. People yes. fucking love him. They Real love shit. him. Real shit. It's yeah. amazing. It's I, I, I've never gotten more. I've never gotten more compliments or messages when I unless I do that character. That people love that fucking character. They love right, him. Right. They just yeah, do. Right. They just do. And it's so funny. It's so funny. Because that's exactly how they act to you. That's exactly how they act. That is yeah, it. Yeah. That's it right there. Yeah. They just don't believe that those people would be that evil or conniving. Yeah. I, re I remember yeah. the message going, you scared me. I was like, good. Good. <laughs> I, hope, I, I hope you were scared. I hope you were. That was the point. I wanted you to stop trusting these people. They're not on your side. They're actively trying to destroy you and pretend to be your friends. They're pretending your children. to do it. That's the, point. Children. That's the point of that character. He's yeah. pretending to be on your side and he's not. He's actively controlling right. you. Actively. Yes. That's yes. the point. Stop and, and, trusting authority, right. people. Stop. And, you need and to stop. Feel and Chesterfield Montgomery right. is, is, and he's raising some little psychopathic bastards who are going to like yeah. rule your kids and your grandkids and your nieces and nephews. Like, because, and this is the chattel part too. It's not just that we're chattel slaves, but yeah. they are chattel leaders. They're chattel yeah. owners. They yeah. own all yeah. of this. Yeah. And they're raising little psychopathic, little retarded kids right now, just messed up killing cats and skinning them. And, just getting ready. Can't wait to grow up and do that to your kids. Real shit. Real shit. They're being groomed just for that position while yeah. we're being groomed to be cattle. That's what it exactly. is. We're being groomed exactly. to be cattle. They're being groomed to lead the cattle. That's how it is. We yeah. need to change. Um, and, and they fight each other. Change it. And they fight each other. Talk about it. Talk about it, Tom. Jay, Jay Cobb Michael was trying to tell you guys that that's what they do. They fight each other too. They're not on the yes. same side. They're fighting yes. each other for control. Talk about it. So Talk you can put them, you can pit elites against each other. You can do it. It's just that people don't believe that elites are not against them. They think elites are fighting for them. They right. trust elites. They trust Where's them. It? They trust Hollywood. Is, they trust the medical establishment. They trust NASA. They trust their organizations. That's the problem. This That's is why. This is why I don't give a damn that Trump is the president. I don't. Why would be? I, I don't because it's obvious something changed. It's not that he's fighting for anybody that's poor, but it's not. obvious that not. media is fighting him and yes. other billionaires are fighting yes. him. Now, They're mind you, 
They he, are. I think he will murder you as quick as everybody, as, as Obama and everybody else will. He said he would. Right he said now, he would. for a moment, somebody who is not in the current in crowd of murder all of us made mm-hmm. it into office. And I don't yeah, think yeah. that was supposed to happen. Yeah, that That's wasn't supposed I, to happen. I'm, I'm not for know. any kind of it because as long as the billionaires are fighting, and, and there's de- destabilizing that's happening at that level. It means that we have time to actually talk amongst ourselves to wake yeah. people up. At least, yeah, Russian, 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 and yeah, that's no, kind of. I can't believe get that. Well, that's that's why that's why people call us Trump supporters. I'm like, no, I'm not a Trump supporter. Hillary Clinton is a Trump supporter. That's why she you was did, at his wedding. You dig? You, you dig it? You dig it, Ty? That's why that's they call her his wedding. She was at his wedding, so she's the. <laughs> Donald Trump and look, supporter. He was like Thank this. No, oh, for the Thank last you. 10, 20 years, he was like this. He was like this. Here, take this little bit of check. Take this check. Take that check. Take this. Yeah. Take that. Take he, that. He was a registered Democrat. I'm a yeah, donor. He, he donated donor. through her first campaign. Donald Trump donated through her first campaign when she ran. He is the Hillary Clinton supporter. She is his supporter. We are not supporters of any of those two people. No. That's the problem. And, 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 here, and here's the, the reality. And the reality is, when you watch at those levels, yeah, are they fighting? Yeah, they're fighting each other, but they're not like fighting to kill each other. They're, they're fighting, fighting for fighting credit for and power and control. Right. When fighting. it all goes down, yeah. they're gonna look out for each other. Exactly. They're all gonna look out for each other. For they're not looking out but none of them. Win the spoils. Sometimes right. the Republicans win the That's spoils, it. but they're fighting yeah. for spoils. They're not fighting for you at all. They don't give yeah. a shit about any of you. They don't care. They just yeah. don't care. They just awesome. don't. Yeah. You know? And so, like I said, I'm I'm OK with him being president. I really don't care I'm as fine. long as as I'm long fine. as I see as long as I see they're not all getting along and patting each other on the back and rolling out these laws and bills. Something's happening. Some people say he's fighting globalism. I don't know if that's true. But <laughs> I, 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 all, I, all I know, I, listen, all I know is I'm a mushroom. They keep me in a dark room and they feed me bull. That's all I know. And all I know is when that when something is, is isn't. Isn't going on up there, and they're trying to impeach and flipping out. That is is good. I don't know why it's good. That's all I'm gonna say. Yep. Any, anything that causes chaos with the elite, I'm fine with. I'm fine anything. with anything. That. I'm fine anything. with anything. an asteroid, some tsunamis that hit the elite neighborhood. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whatever mm-hmm. it might right. be, it's fucking I'm funny. With it. it just is. You know, but when they have stability and they're sustainable, and everybody's on their little ignorant sides fighting. I'm, I'm, I have an issue with that. When people are, are questioning their government, good things might actually happen. Yep. When they got these sexy bad guys in there that talk cute and, and they name the laws and ways that make them buy into it, bad things happen to us every time. And they will continue. To. They will continue to as long as we support and consent to their rule. As long as we consent send to the rule, we have nothing to say. There's nothing to do. We can't consent to them anymore. We just can't. We can't yeah. pretend like one faction is better than another faction. No, it's your it's your own behavior, everyone. It's your own behavior. Once you change your own behavior, that fixes it. <laughs> that fixes it. That's why Gandhi said, "Be the change you want to see in the world. You have to be it. Shit. You have to be Russia it physically." It. <clears throat> That's it. Russia. And so. you know what's funny about that? That's I can just. I can kind of kind of contest. I mean, blah, blah, blah. I can say that this is true because it shows when I go out on a dolo individually and interact with people, I see how you receive. You receive without the labels. You receive whether it's black or white. You're received because you're there for a certain purpose, and that purpose isn't to, you know, convince somebody to agree with your religion or political practice or preference or color or whatever the case is. No, it's just there to help. It's just there to be a difference. It's just there to be effective against the systems of, you know, having us dependent, like we said earlier, like Ty said earlier, G said earlier, we're dependent on systems instead of being, I don't want to say dependent on each other, but looking to each other to, you know, give us enrichment and enlightenment and information, you know, because one thing I realized is we have more information within our individual minds and lifestyles that w- which we have lived through than what the mainstream can give us because you can't have Ty, 
Hollywood can't tell your story. Gee, yep. Hollywood can't tell your story. Hollywood can't tell my story. They can try to paint a picture, but ultimately people will still misunderstand because there's a lot of details that is missing, you know? So we have to give this detail from not only an individual standpoint, but also as far as when it comes to the community, we have to be willing to not be afraid to speak up. People are afraid to speak up nowadays because people don't think anybody wants to hear that shit. First of all, it's like, oh, nobody wants to hear what you got. Nobody wants to hear what you dealt with and nobody hear what you, I ain't got time to hear what you going through because I'm going through my own shit. Nobody yeah. want to hear the shit you got. I got my own shit to deal with. And it's like, we're cheating each other because we're not allowing ourselves to listen as much as, it's like, we want to be heard you know, we want to, oh, you got to hear my side. You got to hear my story. But, I would, but we have to also listen. You know what I mean? We have to be willing to listen to what others have went through as opposed to just taking mainstream media's word for it. Government's st statistical word for it. You know, because the government will put stats in front of your face like, oh, we, we polled this many people and this is what this many people said about X, Y, or Z. But what they're not telling you is that these polls are even manipulated. You know what I mean? These polls are manipulated to where they only interviewed or or polled a certain that uh, demographic of people. They haven't polled a diverse, broad scope of people to understand and break down what really goes on in a different environment. You know, nor would they. Nor would they. Nor would they. Exactly. Yeah. So somebody wants to know if y'all are voting. Who said that? Who said this? So we want to know that? What was that? Got to go down a little further. Uh, Maria Rochelle. She's around all the time. Maria. Yeah, Maria. Maria. Yeah, Maria's good. She's good, people. Hi, Chris and Gerard. Are y'all planning to vote in the midterms? <laughs> yeah, I'm out. Because it's hashtag red. <laughs> <laughs> Is that feet? I got feet up. Tie to the feet up. Tie it to It's time to feet up. <laughs> oh, my God. So, um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, Sure, honey. Sure, sweetheart. No, but like, <laughs> I was just talking mark? to somebody Are about you mark? Today. Go march. Go march, somebody. darling. Go march, darling. It's real, man. It's real out here, man. <laughs> People are deceived. People oh. are easily deceived. I love it. I so, just love it. I just love it. I just love it. I, oh, the I, Democrats I, will I, win, by the way. You know the Democrats will win the midterms. They will. They sure will. They sure will, darling. Let sure me say will. I'm going to say this. Let me say, I'm going I'm to attempt to answer the question. Mm -hmm. I'm going to attempt to. So do I believe our votes matter? Absolutely not. Absolute, positively, absolutely not. And I do also believe that when we vote, we are consenting to all of the evil things our government does to kids in our own country, to poor people in our country, to people in prison, to poor people around the world. Mm -hmm. I, however, probably will vote. I can guarantee you this, though. I will not be voting for anybody who has murder in any of their plans. Mm -hmm. if, if they are with a party that's planning on murdering poor people in my country or around the world, there's nothing they can do. There's nobody they can present to me. You can't shine them up enough. You can't put enough pearls on that pig to make me vote for them. Mm -hmm. So um, my options, to be honest with you, because I don't see either main political party changing. They still believe in rape, murder, slavery, death and destruction. Right. Uh, it'll either go to a third party or it'll go back to Bart Simpson and Homer Simpson the way it used to be. I used to vote for them all the time. I, <laughs> I didn't vote for Bart. So he never won, though. He never Bart never won. Um, I voted for Homer once. He didn't win. I, I will troll it. Um, or I'll vote for somebody that has a plan. Um, but do I think voting, do I think my vote counts? Uh, I'm 44 years old. I done lived in this country a long damn time. Mm -hmm. My vote doesn't count at all, mm -hmm. at all. 
It's just I don't want my count to go in the pool of people who are 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 disconnected. I don't think I don't think they care about the people who completely eject themselves from voting. Mm -hmm. I think they give a damn about the people who believe in the Democrats. They give a damn about the votes of the people who believe in the Republicans. And they give a damn about the votes of the people who don't believe in either. But those who totally eject themselves from the system, I think they don't care about. They just they don't want you to participate because that not participating is participating still. You know, so I th- I mean, that's how I answer. But you know what? I, I I say that and I might change my mind tomorrow. I might. What, what's okay. today? What I read yesterday, so it, 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 you know, I say that. It might uh, change tomorrow. You got to sleep change. on it. I, I, you know, uh, the, I don't it. ever want them to know where I'm coming from. I don't want mm-hmm. anybody to know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That, mm-hmm. It, you got to be dynamic. Yeah. Right. 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 You got to be dynamic. Right. That's my answer. Okay. Well, my Chris, take, you're next. Chris, you're next. Go for it. My take is a little bit more radical. You know what I mean? I mean, I voted and I've seen the results of voting. You know, we've got a little bit here and there. You know what I mean? As far as my city is concerned, because it comes down to, you know, everybody talks about voting, but they don't really break down the levels of voting. You know what I mean? There's levels of voting. You have general elections, midterm elections, city elections, all these different types of voting. But honestly, when I look at it, what are you voting for? Are you voting for the issues or are you voting for politicians? Are the politicians going to represent the diverse population of people in your um, locality or are they going to represent the party that they're assigned to in that locality and the party's agenda in that locality? But when it comes down to the behind the scenes scheme of things, their agenda is to represent the corporations. And we don't get, it's like this. We give them money during the campaign season and we give too much money, if you ask me. They're getting money from much, much, much more beneficial people than we, than us. We're not giving them the money that can compete with the money that they're getting from the corporations that truly influence how policies are passed in this government on the on the um, national scale or the local scale, on the federal level or on the state level. Corporations have too much influence, but not only corporations, like we said earlier, the letter boys, the FBI, the CIA, the FDA, the USDA, on the federal level, they have too much control. Yeah. We, the people, don't have a voice. So what voting does in my eyes, after I've voted so many times and paid attention enough, voting gives us much lesser of a voice than we would have if we stood on the outside and demanded together that these issues be, you see, it's, it's, it's hard because the technical, it's technical, you know what I mean? The technicalities of it and the laws say that, you know, we have to kind of force the situation. You know, but voting is not forcing the situation. Voting is saying, okay, we're going to wait on this politician or this state or this party to get these things done. But our voices are what need to be heard from, I don't want to say a rebellious standpoint, you know what I mean? But a powerful standpoint in the individual. You have a voice as an individual. I have a voice as an individual. When we bring those together collectively, we have a demanding voice as a a unit, you know, because that's why I think we need. We need a unit that is committed, that is dedicated to standing together, not only because we care about, because it's like this, people care about different issues. You know, certain people don't have the same list of top five issues that they care about, you know, and we have to communicate and understand what people's top five issues are because your top five might be different than my top five. And that means that the politician that we're each telling each other and com- we're telling each other to vote for might have a different top five altogether. You know what I mean? And mm. we have to realize that it's a situational basis. Voting does nothing about our situational basis of issues and things that we have to deal with. Because if home, if you want to talk about like issues, homelessness, Healthcare, education, these politicians, 
they're 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 they're, they're serve they they serve the corporations or the 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 government whoever the government has input as the head of certain you know organ like Ben Carson he's the head of in the on the uh, level of that we know entertain he's the head of what HUD housing and urban development. Ben Carson can't speak for all black people when it comes to housing and urban development. Are you but sure? Yet, he said, oh, black. Republicans, we yeah. should vote for, we should, we should take Ben Carson for face value and put all of our support in that Ben Carson is going to care about everything that we speak and want to, um, want to have change. He can't do that. We do that when we stand together. And when, like, you know, Martin Luther King said a quote, a, a grave injustice done to anyone anywhere is a grave injustice done to everyone everywhere. everywhere. And right now, we're not getting justice from this system at all. You know, Nobody we get concessions. Is. Yeah, we, we do we get the ability to be comfortable within it? Yes. You know, so would we rather be comfortable within the system of operations that carries out grave injustices to our brothers and sisters all across the board? Or would we rather fight with our brothers and sisters that are suffering from these things and the attack, I guess I would call it a tax because I think that government is attacking us on a daily basis, honestly. Oh, it's a war. But, oh, it's definitely yeah, a war. So yeah. Do we stand with these brothers and sisters that are under attack or do we stand with the system that says it's going to fix the problems to the reasons why these brothers and sisters are under attack? You know, and I don't think I don't think it adds up. When I add it up, like mathematics and simple mathematics, as I was taught, it doesn't add up. You know what I mean? The positives and the negatives, the negatives far outweigh the positives of dedicating time, money, and resources. Because think about it. When you vote, you dedicate what? Time, money, and resources. If you dedicate that same time, money, and resources to a movement that is certified about the people, that is certified about equality, justice, or not even from an individual standpoint, but a collective standpoint, because everything that we need to be done has to be done collectively. Individually, we can do our own thing in reevaluating how we live our lives and change the things that we need to change within ourselves, because we need to do that all around the board. But when it comes to the collective group think, we need to change our paradigm of how we are approaching these situations, you know, and I don't think voting helps us do that. I think voting allows us or voting causes us to submit that power that we can have on the outside back to the government, which will utilize it to take advantage of us. Um, so that is good. I like that. I like all that. So, but, um, but, 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 so are you yes or no? No, I'm, I'm a no. I'm done. I think I'm after 2016. I mean, I did, I, I, I did midterms. 2016, and it's like, damn, I was Obama guy. You know what I mean? It's like, yo, who was Obama up. guy? I was an Obama was guy. Obama? I was an Obama was guy. Obama guy, he got you? Oh, I man, was late. I was about. late to the show. I was I, late to the oh, party, man. Man, man. You, I you was in the streets, man. I'm late. Oh to my the, god! I was an Obama guy. Oh, I saw him coming. Oh, I saw that. Listen, oh man! I cried when he got elected. I cried. <laughs> I was the whole. I was in. I was in jail. You know, county jail. I cried when Obama got elected. I'm like, Did you? Obama, Obama, my black president, my he black president. He was coming he to get you. Did he get the key? Yeah, he was coming to get you. Hold on, y'all. Man ain't felt that way. Man ain't felt that way. And then he started off Bill George. Man, we did, including myself, originally at the beginning. Uh, if you want to know my take on it, if you if, if people are curious about mine, yes, please. Noam Chomsky in the early 1990s did a very great lecture on corporate control. Um, as of this year, a couple of years ago, the Pentagon has stolen $21.2 trillion a year. He made a great lecture about this in 1999. Um, the Pentagon does not care if you overthrow the government. Mm. What does that tell you about voting? There's my position. <laughs> Next. Next. Very Your simple. shadow organizations who have no control, no authority to the populace, unlimited funding and resources. Do they care if you vote? Answer that question, anyone. 
answer that question now. Then tell me you're going to go vote for someone. Tell me you're going to yeah. go do that. Yeah. So See how so that answers your question by definition? Next. All right. <laughs> That's what I have to say about that. You have shadow mob organizations, wait, everyone. Wait. Sorry you keep ignoring that you have an FBI and CIA and NSA. And... No, they have no authority to anyone. They don't have to do anything you want or anything you say at any time. They don't care if you overthrow the government. This is being said by Noam Chomsky. If Noam yeah. Chomsky knows that if you if you overthrow the government that these people don't care, then why the fuck do you? <laughs> Grow up. Grow up. This is idiocy. You don't get to keep shadow mobs. You don't get to. Yes. That's why they're shadow mob organizations. They don't give a shit who you vote for, you cunts. They don't care. They have money and unlimited resources to control you. They don't care if you vote or not. Why would they? Why would they? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Grow talk. up. Grow up. That's now, this is the problem. This is why I get angry at you. This is why Furious George happens. You piss me off with your idiocy. Stop. <laughs> you piss me off. You have shadow mob organizations. They don't care at all. Stop this voting bullshit. It's not a thing. It just it's makes you feel better. We understand that you want to placate your emotions. It's not reality. Here's the reality. You have shadow mob <laughs> organizations that have unlimited funding and unlimited resources. They don't care, sweetheart. They just don't. They it just like don't. <laughs> It and looks. It looks like the room is divided. Next, next. <laughs> it, it, don't it bring up like... voting ever again, ever yeah. again. Thank you. It looks Hillary like the Clinton room and Donald divided. Trump are the same person. The Democrats and Republicans are the same people. They don't the people. care. They just don't. <laughs> Sorry, you think they do. They don't factually. Thank you. You have a Fed that controls your money. They don't care. Mm -hmm. They just Fra don't. Okay? Reserve you get now? Do you fucking get it? Jesus Christ. <laughs> but I'm crazy, right? I'm crazy. I'm the crazy person now. So You, you, you have to be. So I, I'm, I'm going to add something to that. I, and that, that, was, that was a good So let me clarify to Rebecca. No, I did not say I was going to vote Rebecca. But it's not one yes, one no, one tiebreaker. Literal tiebreaker. Literal, literal. No, it was a, I, for, for the moment right now, I felt like I was going to vote like 20 minutes ago. Right now, listen to Ty, I don't think I'm going to vote. But I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. But you know what? I, that, this is what I take from it. I vote every day. To me, I think our biggest problem is we, we focus on this word vote. And we put all of our whatever into that day. And I don't think that that actually is the biggest vote that matters. I think the biggest vote that matters is what you do on a daily basis. What do you support? With your wallet. What do you support with your wallet? Who do you support? Where do you go? What do you buy? Like, I think those are the votes that actually matter. And, and this word, I hate the word. I actually, I, I can't stand it. That's why I'm glad, Ty, you put it that way. We put way too much emphasis on that one act. But everything we do all between those elections, make sure that that one act matters as little or at all possible. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I have no idea. It depends on how I feel. I might go set up a stand and I don't know, dress up in a costume and dance, be a dancing bear or something. I don't know. You never know. My, my brain does funny things. Looks like we didn't lose Chris. Yeah, we did lose him. We lost him. We lost Chris. Well, we've been on for like what an hour and a half, or like two hours, like or three, something. four, five hours. How long have we been? I, we could, but we could sit here and talk all daggone and night. That, and that's why they want to control it, because because otherwise yeah. the media would when the media it's called concision. That's what that's called. They want us to be concise. They want us to. They want, right. the, you can argue certain narratives for certain times, and then next topic, and then next topic, right. and then next topic. That's why they don't like us. That's why they don't. Oh, no. no, we that's don't why know why. Like it's because it's 70 people right here. It, and that's assuming that they're not lying with the view count. It's probably like 170, but it, it is at least 70 people right here. Like, you know what? I got to go to slavery tomorrow. 
and I ain't going to slavery. I'm gonna sit here. To, <laughs> I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna listen in. I'm gonna comment. I'm gonna talk to other people who seem to figure out that this mess is all a lie, and they they don't like that. But it's we the don't. same way. If I'm yeah. if I'm sitting at, if I'm sitting at home and I'm about to catch up on some binge watching, and all of a sudden it says, "Bing, Ty is live." Or, Bing, Chris is live. Up, oh, they go to TV. Click TV. Yep. Click. <laughs> You'd be like, hell no, I ain't missing this. I can miss uh, it all <laughs> damn day. I can miss the episode. I can catch it on the reruns or whatever. But I can catch uh, it on the internet. But yes, you are uh, never going to miss the interaction from a live stream. You're yes. never going to miss that. Yeah, I've, I've learned more from live streams than I have from anything else. That's just, it's li- that's why. They really want control of us, guys. They really do. So the more of you that do this with us, the, the harder it is to stop us. It's, it's just so hard to stop us now. It's so hard. Especially with the internet connection now, because now, because before, remember, remember before this, before this happened, we couldn't just research the Clintons and anybody else. We couldn't do that. There was no way to do that. We just had to trust what the mainstream media was saying. Now we can yep. literally look up every lie they say and check to see if it's true. We can literally do it. So there's no excuse anymore. There's just no excuse. You're yeah, just choosing to be dependent. That's all it is. It's just choosing the whole to. world. The just whole world's the- changed. This is all different. There's no Encyclopedia Britannica and World oh. Book you got to go to. I to try to research that, people. Like, I do. I do. I used to love it doing my little book reports. And those yes, books. darling. Yes. You know, but the thing is, the, the uh, world is so them every year. different. You have, get a new, you have to get a new set all the time. Yeah. Every remember Encyclopedia come, Sellers? Or when these people used to come to your door and sell you encyclopedias? I remember that shit. Yeah. I remember yeah. that. Shit. I sure do. I, I, I love it. But but the thing is, the world has changed. And now people got to use the new type of research you can do. When a politician says something, you look it up and see if they're lying. You know, yep. you go online, click on the links, go to the other side that they oppose them and see if they're telling the entire truth. You're like, you got to use the the, the the tools that are at your disposal to make sure that the next generation doesn't have the same damn problems we have this generation. Yeah. You know? And so it so it, it involves that that G word. We don't you know people don't like to hear, it, but it does. It involves growing up. Growing, growing up, up, pulling growing up, up your big drawers, pulling up yep. your big panties, and just admitting that you know what? The world is not a nice place. These are not nice people. They are not up to nice things. And we got to change how we operate. So that's why I love the live streams. You get on here. I've learned so much from the people here. I've learned oh I, you know what? I won't even go back and watch my old live streams because I know I disagree with everything that dumb bastard said a year ago. I disagree <laughs> with everything. He's dumb funny. as hell. <laughs> I That's disagree funny. with that. You know, That's but you, funny. Because we, well, well, now, and now we can check who's funding those people. Because mm-hmm. before we didn't know where they were coming from. We just knew they were there. Where mm-hmm. did they come from? What, what is it? What, what is it? Was that, do, you, do you ever watch Paul Moody's stand up? Oh, on, yeah, yeah. On, on, on the uh, KFC woman, w- bitch. Where you come from? Where did this bitch come from? <laughs> there was no spokesperson for KFC. Where did this bitch come from? Where you come from? <laughs> where you come? No, no. I will. I will research the funding of the people that you're supporting. Now, here's yeah. who funded those people. Yeah. Here's who actually created those yes, people. That's why I don't like true. Ford because I know her father is a CIA plant. So I'm done with her. I'm done. Next. That's Next. True. I know there. where the funding is, guys. I know what it is. Your cute little celebrity bullshit is not going to fly with me because I will research that person. I will research their entire backstory, where yeah. they came from, where they grew up, who yeah. their friends were. You can't lie to us anymore. So stop yes. doing it. You can't yes. do it anymore. It's over. It's fucking where, over. Where does Turn your money on come? your system now. Turn on it now. It's over. It's just done. That's all there is to it. That's yeah. all there is. You have no defense for your system anymore. You don't have any. We have a search bar. It's over. It's just <laughs> over. I'm so sorry. I like that hashtag. We have a search bar now. We do. <laughs> and, and they don't think we do. They hashtag. don't think we do. So every I, time they come I, up with their cute little, their cute little neoconservative or neoliberal friends, and they're like, this person is the no, they're not, because here's who funded this person. Here's who gave them campaign money. Here's who they donated to. Here's who they grew up. Here's who their friends were. We can find you, cunts. We can find you. Stop lying because you were too lazy to look it up because you wanted to satisfy your emotions. We're done with it. We're just done. You need to grow 
up. You need to do it. You have a bank account. You drive a car. You have children. Grow up. You need to do it. You just need to. You just do. We're not going to tolerate it anymore. We're just not. And we're not going to be called crazy and liars because you were too lazy to look something up for 10 minutes. You have a search bar. Go do it. Get it done. Get it done. That's all there is to it. Stop repeating narratives you saw from a meme on Occupy Wall Street or Occupy Democrats. Those are not, that's not news. You're just placating your own emotions. Grow up. You need to grow up. That's all there is to it. Right. But you know, and that, and that's, and that actually is a, a, a good point. There are a lot of young voices in, involved in politics now. And maybe that's part of it, too, is that they're kind of just chiming in with what they thought the way things were supposed to be done. Yep. And so as did we. As did we. Know, when we so, were their age, we did the same thing, didn't we, Gerard? Yeah. I yep. used to think I, I used to thought I knew it all back in when I was in my twenties. I'm like, oh I know this system. I'm just gonna attack yeah. Christians. That's what I did. I'm right. just gonna attack Christians. That's, That's all I'm my gonna job. Do. Right. I'm right. I'm right because I attacked Christians, even though I didn't read the Bible, <laughs> didn't study allegories. So I don't know. So I know everything. I know everything now. No. You know what I did, Ty? You know what I did? I got I got you know what I did? I I attacked abortion. I did. I'm a Christian. I was born into it. I was a born bigoted Christian. This is what I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to tell other people what to do with their bodies. And one day I grew up and I said, what did Jesus actually do? Right. Right. Now, what, did actually actually say? Say, what did he actually say? What did he actually say? Abortions. Hashtag, were hashtag his words, though. Hashtag right, right, his words. Right. Though. What did he do? Did, did he go to <laughs> Caesar and get a law to stop people from having abortion? Did he go to Caesar and ask Caesar any damn thing about <laughs> anything ever? Did he? No, because because Jesus sat back and said, and this what whether y'all believe Jesus is the son of God, none of that matters. Just just look at the book. Look at the book. What, look, what, what did he actually say? What did he actually say? You know, because because if, if my father is the is the is the creator and created all of this and all these people and made them exactly the way they are, then and they and then gave them free will, then I'm not supposed to have anything to do with it. So if you look at what Jesus actually did. Yes. People the hell alone. When you look at hookers and you, oh, we need to get a law and stop the hooking. We got to stop prostitution. Jesus didn't get a law to stop prostitution. Jesus or anything else. He Jesus never said that. He never said control other people. He never said it. He never said that. Not at any time. He never did. Never he, once. He, never once. He did took he say control to other people. He never <laughs> said that. He never said it. He, he sure didn't. He took him to lunch. That's what he did. Yes, yes. He went out and got a bite to eat with him. Took yes. him to KFC. He turned were... water into wine. And yes, yes, that's why. And that's and, and and, and when he's like, I'm still an atheist. And I still, and I'm, mm. that, and that classical gross term. But I don't really believe in any of that stuff anymore. It's like, it, it's just, it's, you know, I mean, it's just constructed nonsense. It's, and, and that's, you know, yeah. what I realized that is my, my, my father is a deacon. My father okay. is a deacon at a church. Okay. And he's a better person than I am. He just is factually. He just is factually. He does more actual physical work on the ground than I do. You know what he okay. does every Thanksgiving, Gerard? Every Thanksgiving? What's that? Makes 17 turkeys for the homeless every single year. Oh, wow. Every single is- year. Right. You know I'm what right. I'm doing for the homeless? You know what I'm doing for the homeless? Nothing. Right. So me yeah. as an atheist means that I'm not better than him because I don't believe in deities. No. Fuck that mm-hmm. stupid bullshit. Fuck mm-hmm. your biases. Fuck your biases. Fuck them. Yeah. Get over but- it. Realize yeah. people as people. Realize yeah. people as people. What they're actually doing in the real world. What they're yeah. actually doing, not just what you want them to be, because you don't like their their ideology. No, fuck that. I, I, I'm just done with ideologies. I'm fucking yeah. done with it. I'm so done with it. Yeah. I'm so done. I just yeah. am. I just am factually with it. So yeah. Well, I'm I'm good with everybody's ideology. As long no, as you, as that's long as you fine. keep it. That's why you're not trying to control anyone. Skin. That's why I love your cast. I love Gerard's cast, everyone, because he doesn't try to control anybody. He doesn't tell anybody they're wrong or they have to do this. He just he just points out the things that are going on in the real world, and then you can make your own decision. That's the whole point. That's the whole I, I, point. I, I, how can I? That's the whole point. I, I am ninety eight percent monkey. How in the hell am I tell anybody any damn thing? I didn't just got out the tree. <laughs> And I love me some bananas too. I eat bananas. You're killing me right now. You're killing me. Because they they said we're supposed to be mad. They called Obama a monkey. I was like, well, they wasn't totally wrong. There's two percent wrong, but ninety-eight percent dead right. (laughs) That's why I got banned. You know, that's what the first time I got banned. 
Because I called oh. Valerie Jarrett an ape. Yeah, That's why I, I remember that. I was there. I loved it. Yeah. I was, I was yeah. laughing. I got in trouble, too, because I on your cast, I got a mark. I got a hit because... Uh, I said something related to it. Yeah, I got I got nicked on that cast too. Really? I got to be careful. But you know, but but the thing is this: this is scientific evidence. We are ninety eight percent monkey. We you just are. a couple hundred thousand yes. years ago stopped yes. sniffing each other's butts to find out what each other ate for lunch to find out if we could eat some of it too. Right. We right. just stopped doing that. Right. How in the hell? Yes. How much of flat Earth is about flat Earth? How much of flat Earth? How am I tell people about aliens? How am I tell Muslims about anything? How am I tell atheists anything? How am I tell? I can't tell nobody no damn. Because we're ninety-seven percent chimps. We're ninety-seven percent chimps. <laughs> that, is what we are. that is what we are genetically and factually, and it makes sense when you watch yes. the videos. If watch, I, I try to tell people: look up the videos of chimps and orangutans using wash. I've seen a chimp smoking. <laughs> Look up the YouTube video. Look up the YouTube video. There's a chip that smokes a cigarette. He's just smoking. Yeah. I was it's like, see, mess. we're chimps. We're fucking it's chimps. I don't know it's why everybody thinks they're so they're so highly evolved. You're not. Yeah. You're not. not. You are you are we half don't. evolved primate mammalian species, and that's exactly why you act the way you do. That is exactly yeah. why. That is exactly yeah. why. Yes, we not, have no right to tell. You're not different. You are animals. We are animals. We are animals. Yes. And we need to start accepting it and moving on from it. And let Rather it go. Pretend like we're different from them. That's this right. just tacky. It's just tacky now. It just is, right. Star Wars. It just is. Yeah. So I, I don't understand. I don't understand now. So. Yeah. So I, so I so I'm good with it. I'm good with it. I'm good with it. everybody I'm believes. Too. You know, I I'm just I love learning. That's all. I, and you know what I find out. If you don't, if, if you offend people less, like a little offense is good. It's a little good to kind of stick it in and yeah. kind of turn it a little bit. Because it wakes people up. But as long as you're not like aggressively like making right. people cry. Right. See, and, see, you just said you know, it. It depends, on, it, depends on, it depends on how you're doing it. How yeah. you're doing it. Not yeah. just that you're offended. Not that just you're objecting, but how you are objecting. That's what Christopher Hitchens used to say. It's not a matter that you have thoughts. Everybody has thoughts. Most people can, right. can, can, can you know, most people are consent with feelings. But how do you think? Right. Not just that you do think. How specifically? How right. do you think? How do you think? Not just that you do think. Not just that you do. How do you specifically? That's the problem. That's the problem. People just don't, they don't evaluate their own how, their own how. Why do I feel this way about this? Why do I believe this? Why do I do this? They're not self-evaluating. They're just outsourcing blame. They're not, they're not self-evaluating. And when you don't self-evaluate, you won't understand your own behavior. You won't understand anything else. There's no way to do it. There's no way to do and, it. And so, Ty, when, when, when I ask myself that question, it always comes back because I was born here and yep. somebody told me to. Someone exactly. told me to believe this. Exactly. Someone told right. me to act like this. Somebody told me I was this. And once I realized that, actually, I got pretty pissed off. And I was like, man, like my whole life has been it's just it's, it's this matrix of all of these systems and people and things telling me what I was. And that's when I dropped it off. I said, you know what? I said, I'm done with it. I'm, I'm done with all of the BS. I don't know what I am. I want to find out what I am, but I'm not going to let other people tell me what I am. What it is you are. Exactly. Exactly. They're not going to tell us. They're not going to tell. We're going to find out for ourselves. We'll find out for ourselves. We'll, we'll discover it on our own. Well, and, and, I, and people, are, people are kind of intimidated by it, it seems like. so. Well, they are. Oh, they are because, because well, they, they want you. They, they will, one, Misery loves company. They want you with yep. them. They want you to be miserable with them. Exactly. Two, I think if you if you find a better way and you find happiness, people don't like that, Ty. People don't yeah. want you to be happy. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm I laugh every daggone day. I know. And you it doesn't so, really matter sorry. what's happening. You seem so happy it's, every time you're it's just, hilarious. Just on laughing and enjoying you know, your life. And I'm like, it's, God. That's when exactly you, where we need to be. That's exactly when, the position we need to be at. That's exactly you just it. Shed right it all. You just shed it all and let it go. When yeah. I, Cause I don't have to lie for anybody anymore. I don't have to no. lie it up and to be on somebody's side and protect people and all of this dumb stuff. I'm just a human being and I'm stupid and I'm okay with that. 
I'm going to live my life. I'm going to help who I can. I'm going to say the things that are true. If you're lying, I don't care if we're friends or not. I'm going to say, I think you're lying. <laughs> I'm gonna say, and I'm going to show you where. I still love you. We're still buddies. Let's go out to drink. Let's hang out, party. But you shouldn't lie to people. That's not a good thing. When we take our integrity back, it just makes you happy. And people don't like that. They want you to be with them. And Yes, they I, want you to be upset. That's what yeah, it is. They want you to be upset. And I'm not upset. Why don't we be upset? Well, I, I am born in the United States of the whole damn universe of the empire Earth. We done robbed everybody. We didn't. We are jackers. We jacked the whole world, colonized everybody, stole everybody's minerals. And I'm born into all of this greatness. And you mean to tell me I'm going to sit here and whine and complain and I'm not under these people's drones? Hell no. Hell no. I'm no, not going to. I, I have nothing to complain about. So I'm going to take all of this privilege. I'm going to take all of this supremacy. I'm going to take all of this, whatever y'all like, new name like y'all like to give it next. And I'm going to turn it on the system. Oh, yep. I'm just going to turn it on the system. Every I'm going to do everything I can to help everybody around the world, everybody in the trailer parks, everybody in the prisons, everybody in Gaza and the West Bank and all over the place. And I'm just going to just speak the truth. Yeah. Just that's say it. what's true. Yeah, you you were very inspiring for me for that reason. So I'm like, people are like, are you mad? Are you just, I'm like, actually, I feel fine. I feel fine. I, I'm actually yeah. fine with the world and how humanity is. I'm like, this is how it is. Yeah. We just have to adjust to it. We just have to adjust and, and be adults. And that's it. That's all it is. I'm that's not it. mad about the world or how society is or the or humanity. No, that's fine. It's just yeah. fine. It's just we're not you're not adapting. You're just not you're not paying attention to what's going on. And you're not living your own lives. You're trying to you're trying to force everyone to control to you. Yeah. It's about the force of control there. That I, I, I and now that I no longer see control of other people, I've been much happier. It's easy because I don't have to I don't have to, get, I don't have to make you do anything. You want to go exactly. Do Okay. Exactly. The people, the people that are unhappy are people that seek control of other people. That's what it is. They're seeking control and they're not going to get it. They will not factually. They just no. won't. They just no, won't get it. Is piss people they off and causes a lot of problems trying to tell other people what to do. What I what appreciate when I first ran into yeah. you, when I first yeah. ran into Ty, I was like, you know what? I'm not crazy. I thought I was crazy. I'm not crazy. <laughs> Somebody else sees it. It's not me. Like, it really is this bad. And then I found yeah. out funny you are oh my gosh <laughs> every time you go i have to watch ty just start sharing it i, I just start like that and it's funny like i come in i see green like oh it's green today i gotta share i'm gonna share it's ty green ty green right then you come it's in your gold. Oh, oh, sometimes, 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 <laughs> sometimes, sometimes the outfits get people they're like i love this outfit we're sharing it now i'm like okay yes Okay, yeah, you, that's how I got were, conservatives too. This is how the Green Party started following me. It was just like they were just like he looks like the way we don't want him to look, but he's saying the things we want to hear. I'm like, exactly. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. You just think that you you have an appearance bias. There's an appearance yeah. bias there where people think that we all disagree. No, we don't. Every the populace agrees. Everyone, we yeah. all agree. We just don't look the same while we agree oh. with it. So and it's okay it we don't look the same, and people have it's to okay. get over that. Okay, it's perfectly it's okay. Because okay. you know what. You can you can take the most extreme populations you can come up with. And, and in our country, I, I always go to the ghetto in a trailer park. OK, everybody has the same enemy. Everybody has the same problem. Everybody has the same oppressor. And it's not each other. It's not everybody. each other. Everybody. It's not each other. Everybody. It's not they each other. Think it is. They, they, the think, they, think it's, they think it's other poor factions. That's what they think. They think the other that poor they believe, people did believe. That right. it's other poor people that are oppressing them, and I'm like, oh, right. you just you just don't understand. That's why they think we're crazy. That's why they think yeah. we are. That's why yeah, they right. because you, you, know? you have to be crazy because 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 you're saying something that's different than what all the other people are saying, and you're not as loud as they are. Ty, they're loud as right. they are. Right, they, they gotta right. be right. <laughs> and I'm not. That's why I'm not. I'm not reactionary, and the people want me to be that. They really want me to be reactionary. And I'm just like, no. But here's the problem: you're the problem because you're reactionary, and that's why. That's why. That's why Denver thinks I'm crazy because Denver is filled with a whole bunch of like reactionary people that don't okay. research when they just do. They just do their performances and do their lives, and then they pretend to care about politics when they hear a narrative, and they're like, "Well, now I'm correct because I had that correct socially." Socially, but it is, this is this is what Christopher Hitchens was saying. Don't be confused, everyone, with the with the false security of consensus. Consensus is false security. Right. It's false security. It is factually. It is. So just because you just because you you're in the just because you in, you have the majority 
doesn't make you correct. That's why your founding fathers don't like democracy. That's why they don't. Because yeah. it's mob rule. It's mob You're trying rule. to do mob rule. You're trying yeah. to do mob rule and it's not going to work. It will yeah. not factually. It will not. And that's right. why George Orwell told you that as well. That is why he did. That you is why to, specifically. You have to start standing up for each other. That's really yeah. what it comes down to. Everybody. You got to start standing White up for men, people you don't like. Liberals, transgenders, everybody. Everybody and, is and the you. community. That that word is overutilized and I'm tired of it. I'm almost tired of the word community. This is why Christopher Hitchens hated it. Now I kind of now I kind of hate it too. It's an overutilized word. People are just utilizing it for their convenience. And I'm like, no, that's not yeah. how that works. It's just not. You are all to... part of the community. You are all the community yeah. by definition. That's what they're like. What will what will happen if 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 the government shuts down? All, 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 so that means you're going to go kill your neighbors tonight. Then are you going to yeah. go do that? Are you going to go kill your neighbors right. because the government doesn't function? No, you're not because sure. you exist with these people next door to them. Of course, you're not going to kill everybody. Of no. course, you're not. This is a narrative. It's a narrative of division against you. Right. People right, need to so, realize this. They have to realize it. They just do. And there's a lot of people who don't own property, by the way, because my, my, my spouse owns this house, so I'm living in a house. A lot of people that object to me live in, live in what is that? Compartmentalized, like, like you know, like studio apartments and shit. Right. That's why you're, you're crammed into cities. So that's why you, that's why you care about that. People who own their own property are not going to submit to your bullshit because we own our own property. So we're not here for you, darling. We're not right. here. We will protect our property from you or anyone else. We will do it. We will do it factually. Thank you. Yeah. So sorry, you don't understand conservatives point about owning your own property, but we will continue to do that. We will do it. So own your own property. And grow your own food as you do exactly that's why you're healthy and all these dumb bitches that are opposing you are not and mad and sad and drinking and scared yeah exactly yeah we're, we're trying to we're, we're trying to bring ourselves we're trying to be resource control we control our own water our own food supply our own clothing that's the point that is yeah. the point you if you don't, control you don't your own resources to. if you control your own resources nobody can do anything to you they can't pitch you against other people they can't do anything to you because you control your own resources that's right. it. That's all there is to it. That's the all there is to it. If the farmer up the street likes you and you like them and you respect them and you take care of them and you look out for their rights, when the bad times come, he'll look out for you. They will. They'll look out they for have you. to. They have that's, to because you live we've we've always always to done. them. You, so what right. are they going to do? They're just going to attack their own community? No, they're not going to do that. People think they're going to. People are going to attack their own community in the house yes. they live in with their neighbors. Who? No, they're not going to do that. They're no. not going to. That's not real. That's not it's real. Not real. It's, it's that's Hollywood that plantation bullshit. That is not a true thing. People are not just. There is no zombie apocalypse. That's not going to happen. None of those things are going to happen. They're just. It's, it's a dystopia bullshit narrative that you told yourself because you're not in control of your own resources. You're scared and dependent. That's the problem. So when you're not dependent anymore, you have no fear. Once you're not dependent, you have no fear. There's no fear left because you control it. You're in control. The reason why they're scared is because they're not in control. That's why they're not. That's why they're scared. That is why they are. That's it. That's all there is to it. That's, that's all there is to it. That's so, it. And, and Ty, that's it for me. I'm done. I'm, I'm done too. I'm done. <laughs> we, we did what we need to do. We, we did, did good. We, to we did good. We, we did good. We came in. Had a little fun. We could talk all night, but it's getting late. I got to get ready to get up my plantation Me tomorrow. Let me go I eat. Up my bag of cotton. <laughs> so listen, thanks for jumping in. I appreciate it. it. Was last minute. It was a lot of fun too. We lost yes, Chris, you. but it went. I think it went really, really well. I appreciate oh, everybody too, joining man. in. I appreciate you guys. Listen, we don't all agree, but we all got to agree on one thing. We're all family. We agree on that. It doesn't matter what we disagree over disagree with respect love other people and we'll get out of this alive our kids will have something better our grandkids our nieces our nephews we will have something better but if we keep agreeing and going along with this world rule empire corporations owning all the all the governments and all of us we're not gonna make it so anyway i'm out ty with your last words um, good to see you all. Make sure you're networking with each other. Everyone, if you're new here, everyone friend each other network because you can't take action because you're not networking and therefore you can't organize and therefore you can't take action. So network first. Make sure you understand why we're doing this, why we are doing it, why, why the mainstream is scared of us. They're scared of us because they're worried about us networking like this. So make sure you do it specifically. Make sure you do. Make sure you do. 
Friend everyone here. Request everyone here. Follow each other's posts. Keep going. Keep going. Just, 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 as I would say, because I'm a gay male, gay it forward. Okay, just, good. Just you know what? gay it forward, darling. <laughs> and the thing I like you said the most, if you don't have 5,000 friends, you're not helping. You're not helping. Go get five. Don't there's a reason, yourself, like, yes, yes. There's a reason that they have a 5,000 friend limit because it there's limits no your influence it's and your control. Like, if you guys three they want, friends, they want, they want to dictate how many friends you can have. That's not a thing they get to do. You, you, they don't you don't let to. them do that. Thank you. They don't get go, to go out and make 5,000 friends. Hopefully, most don't look like you. They're not from where you're from. They're not your also understand that half of them are bots. Learn from them. So understand the bots are there. Yeah. Understand the bots are there and they're and they're right. controlled opposition. So weed out the week. Weed out the week, guys. So <laughs> All right, I'm gone. Ty, you have a wonderful night. Love you, you to death. Brother, take care. Everybody, love y'all. We're out. Bye-bye. We're out. Bye. See you later.